We are on. You can see. Thanks, Akam Sakam Robot. You can see. Thanks, Akam Sakam Robot. You can see. Thanks, Akam Sakam Robot. You can see. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah, I, that guy, he, he subscribes so often in my stream, I sent him a razor. Really? Yeah. Why a razor? Occam's razor. Uh, okay. I mean, I didn't really, but that was the joke. Am I still number one in terms of uh, subs? You, you're number one in the hood. You? Number one in the hood, yeah. Well, I mean, every week it changes, so. Oh, okay. So, so no. <laughs> Not, I, I haven't, I haven't uh, gifted subs enough. Thanks, Jay Groges. Hey, everybody. It's uh, James and I. We're here and so forth. Mainly and so forth. Let's get that train started. So we have 156 viewers, and then in about 20 minutes, we'll have four or 500, and then all of a sudden, we'll have like 1,500. And how, does, chess doc, does Chess TV do that like 24 hours a day? Yeah, you get time on Chess TV. I get um, Tuesday night, Saturday night, and Sunday night for two hours each. Hikaru gets it like 75 hours a week. No. Man, I wish I was kidding. Probably gets it more. C. Benson 6 subscribed. Hooray. So, so Hikaru kind of has come through. Like, he, everybody doubted whether he could play classical mm -hmm. chess again. Hasn't, everybody was criticizing, oh, he hasn't played in two years. Don't let him play for the candidates tournament. Mm -hmm. And now he's so far tied for first. You're just backing him up because he's a fellow New Yorker. Well, I don't, I don't know him at all. Although I told you that time where I was playing his brother. Yeah. And he was like six years old and correcting all our moves and everything. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's, it's impressive. Yeah, that he's, he's good. As far in the tournament. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's not, he's not that old yet. In fact, not only is he thirty-four, his opponent's thirty-nine. Levon. America, yeah. He shall be Levon. He shall be a good grandmaster. I feel like there's this mid-generation of like Grishik, Aronian, like all these people that are not as old as Anand and not as young as Magnus that mm -hmm. are still there at candidate level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's not that old where you should have to give up right away. Yeah, Thanks, like, Corvette. Thanks, Farty Party. Move over towards me slightly. They, they can't see some of your hair. <laughs> now, I heard a story from Karen that because uh, of the humidity, certain people had issues with their hair down in Florida. Uh, I don't know. I don't know that. Yeah. I never left. I never went outside. Oh, okay, that's good. So, yeah, it was the, pretty the, humid. The, I heard the key. The key to Florida mm -hmm. is to not go outdoors. Like Florida, their air conditioning is great, and you can just go from your house to your car. You never have to leave air conditioning. It was never too hot for me when I lived in Florida. Oh, that's good. But New York is a walking city, yeah. so New York is worse than Florida in the summer because you have to experience the heat. Now, I don't know if you remember this. It was about three years ago, unless it was two. But I'm going to say, like, in June, it was three years. I was in New York. I was teaching a chess camp at the Marshall Chess Club for the Greg Shahadi and the U.S. Chess School. What year? What year? I, I mean, I think it's three years. So this is so 2019, I think. Okay. Okay. Um, it might have been 20. It wasn't 2020. So it was either 19 or 18. I think it was 19. But it could have been 18. But anyway, the point of my story is they were supposed to have something like in Central Park or in some park, like a big summer thing. And it was canceled because it was too hot. And they were scared. It was 100 degrees. And they were like, well, people are going to pass out and we're going to get in trouble. So they canceled it. Yeah, because it, here's the other problem with New York, which Florida doesn't have is that the air conditioning doesn't work. Yeah. Like, it's all these old buildings. Like, mm -hmm. the Marshall Chess Club is in this pre-war townhouse. There's no air conditioning. Yeah. And so, New York's just miserable in the summer. I almost, there's an apartment right above the Marshall Chess Club, which was for rent once back mm -hmm. in 1995 or 96, and I almost rented it. But then my girlfriend, who then became my wife at the time, said no, because whenever we get into an argument, you're just going to go downstairs and play chess, and I'm going to be all by myself and upstairs. Even, even when you're not in an argument, you're going to do that. <laughs> right, and I was like, that's the whole point of living here, is that I don't want to be unhappy mm -hmm. in arguing. I'd rather just be playing chess. Mm -hmm. That marriage didn't didn't last that long. No, man, the truth so hurts. Thanks, Crappa Blanca. Good name. Yeah. You're friends with Bob Dylan? Well, he's about 20 years younger than Bob Dylan, or more. Yeah, 20's about right. I, get, I did get one stopped in the street with a Bob Dylan reference. Oh, yeah? But big money, big money, no whammy stop. Ten dollars! You know, it's Can amazing. Can I play Rap It Against You? I always wanted to play My Name Is Nick. Um, you know, maybe like in a dream. <laughs> then you, you know, then, you know, you'll do well. Right, Karen? Yeah, 
I told him to move over, but he said oh. I, I smelled or something. No, it's right okay. here. I did. I, I you know, we're, we're, come we're, on. we're trying to get positioned right. Mm -hmm. 200 cents to Jews. Look, we're both here. Karen's always thinking about these positionings because yesterday was Valentine's Day. <laughs> 200 cents to Jews. Hey, Grunjoir, thank you. What glasses are those? Well, we well, both we're both wearing yeah, glasses. Who, I just got these glasses about a week ago. Really? Yeah. You were wearing different glasses last time you were on stream. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, I I just got these. Mm hmm. Yeah, these are the first. I, I didn't stream yesterday. These are the first gifts of the you know. How many hours? How many hours a day? Uh, uh, do you, or how many hours a week do you stream? A week? Uh, eleven. It's a lot. Maybe it's more. Commitment. Maybe more. And then how many YouTube more, videos do you I put guess out? More. They're all, all of them. Every you, stream is out, and then the YouTube editor sometimes will take parts of a stream and also put that out. All right. So more, there's more YouTube videos than streams. And also, uh, about three, four times a month, I make I do a lecture, which you can watch live on um, Zoom, and then that goes on YouTube also. Oh, yeah? I didn't know that. Yeah. That one just came out on Kaidenov. Why do you do it on Zoom? Uh, oh, yeah. Then I people, saw that people can do it, watch live. Yeah, they, they, they pay. But, oh, it's oh paid. I see. I see. To I'm... watch live, you pay. Yeah. And then they pay us, and then we give them a Zoom link. Yeah. And we used to do it where it was in person and Zoom, but now we don't have a chess center, so now it's just here. Now, the, now, he'll back me up that the basement looks better now. The basement is amazing. This is like a chess, a chess master's dream to have a basement like mm -hmm. this. There's chess tables there's the chess streaming setup it's all these chess books yeah we have the books and trophies behind us now in the new plant that we didn't have last time how many of these books have you read uh, i don't know one <laughs> have you have you gone through an entire dvoretsky book no they're hard they're hard to go they through. they are difficult yeah what about yusupov one level down <laughs> no nah, i you know I, I was reading books when i was a kid since I've been an adult, not not too much reading of books. Like right now, when you want to study chess, mm -hmm. what do you study? Okay, well, I don't. But if I did, I would use chess base, and I would look at games and openings that I would. So I, I do I do prepare at tournaments that I'm using okay. chess base. And I'm looking at recent grandmaster games from my opponents or from my openings. But like, okay, so, but I would think They're you would Missouri. also want to like. For, for instance, what separates you from, like, let's say, a 20s? What separates you from Hikaru? If you were to play a match against Hikaru... He's way better than me. <laughs> but but why? Like, if you studied no, and worked at it, no, you don't think, like... Eh, well, I, maybe when I was 18 or 17. No, you can't well, take somebody... Well, how old are you now? You're 15? 52. Yeah, you're one year younger than me. So, yeah. I study chess, mm -hmm. and I don't know if it's going to make me improve or not, but I'm studying with the hopes of improving. I, I don't believe that mm -hmm. age, you, you have to slow down. You You... Let's see, wait, those are just some trophies. Okay, Karen's talking. You can also talk as Karen, which is funny. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not interested in improving because that's really hard work. I already did my hard work. Yeah. This is my golden years. You know? <laughs> Your golden years are younger than me. Yeah. I, I... The truth hurts. <laughs> yeah. I... Yeah, but you do something that's interesting, and, and, and I don't. You don't do something and sit there for like 12 years. You do something, then four weeks later you do something else, and then they're all working out except the ones that don't. So you got a lot. You got a hands in a lot of pies. Yeah, but but, you know, but imagine how boring you would be if it was just one thing and you never did anything else. No, but I don't know if that's true because look, I don't know if you did. You've done just one thing. You're doing streaming, which is different than chess. You're you're mm -hmm. an entertainer now. I am. And uh, but but you know you could be a jack of all trades, master of none. So I did stand up comedy for years. Okay, I got. Good enough to tour, but I would never consider myself good. Or like comedy is for me was just as hard as chess is. Like mm -hmm. it's a hard thing. Dying is easy. Comedy's hard. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And uh, chess, you know, I got to a certain level, and I think I should have I should have kept going. I was younger then, and I had like the energy then, but mm -hmm. I was afraid that like having at that time having a rating above. 2200 like just gave so many business opportunities it was ridiculous and i was afraid to lose that so here, here's the thing that's happening in chess when you're our age we consider chess to be you went to the tournament in florida and the games took three or four hours the five hours sometimes right so to me that's chess yeah to the gawking rabble watching the stream and to most people a lot of chess 90 percent is blitz and bullet and rapid and you're playing a thousand games a day online if you want to be good at slow chess, okay, 
improving is not hopeless, but it's really difficult because of the energy level during the game. Very difficult. Yes. If you want to improve your blitz game by learning secret illegal openings and tricks, then you can do that. So if you wanted to be a better blitz player by knowing trickier openings and playing faster, which you need to do, obviously, and so forth, you could get better. But if you said, I'm 2170 USCF and I want to be 2370 and you're 53, I, 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 I'm going to go to Vegas and bet against it. I'm I'm going for it right now. Right. My goal is twenty three seventy. Now, obviously, you USCF. could you could do it, but if a thousand people tried to do it, maybe just you would do it. It's not like see, and this is the problem but with what, the Republican what Party. What What do you think makes age though the barrier? Like it's I think, energy. I, it's energy. It's energy. It's but energy. Yeah. I, I I I got it from Karpov's mouth. Karpov said, "I play just as good as I ever did, but there's no energy. So when the game is two, three, four hours old, I'm I'm done. I can't continue fighting like I used to." Yeah, but you know, then again, you have like like Smyslov was what like 120 yeah, but, years but, old. But, but even when Kennedy Smyslov Smith. was in his 60s, he would get crushed by himself in his 30s. Still wasn't. <laughs> he's just still good, but not. There's exceptions, obviously. Korshnoi, Smyslov, etc. Koshevsky, mainly, etc. Yeah, but even the guys who are good when they're older, like Anand and Korshnoi and Smyslov yeah. and Ryshevsky, if they went in a time machine and played themselves in their prime, they would lose. They're still good, but they're not as good as they were. But okay, but they're getting worse. But you could, but you could study to improve. Like I don't know what they do at their level to improve. Like mm-hmm. you said, they kind of just have to study the games of their opponents and use the computer and figure out new twists in the openings. But if 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 you wanted to actually improve, let's say you wanted to get to twenty six fifty feet a, what what would you do? Like right now at the age of fifty two, what would you do? I would make a screenplay and I would star in the movie. <laughs> yeah, I can't get to twenty six fifty. Impossible. Why? That would be like Gotham Chess becoming a GM. <laughs> but yeah. okay, what what gap and, in knowledge? And you, and though, you, you should you know have? in your line of work that you shouldn't set your sights too high. You should have small goals, small incremental goals. No, I I agree with that. Look, I always think happiness. My my, my favorite thing is happiness is expectations over reality. So mm-hmm. you keep your expectations low, your happiness is infinite. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it's infinite, but. All right. <laughs> No, if, you, if your expectations go to zero, it'll be infinite. But uh, it, it, or or maybe it goes to zero. I don't know. My math's off. You got to see the movie Afterlife. You got to see Afterlife, the, the television show. All right, I will. Rick, Ricky Gervais. Uh, yeah, yeah, you got to see that. But like, okay, let's say small incremental improvements. Mm-hmm. It it doesn't. Do you think it plateaus? Do you think uh, the the improvements get smaller and yeah, smaller? Yeah, people don't get better at chess when they're 50s, 60s, and 70s. And I can say the same for sports. I don't think Michael Jordan's going to be any good if he plays in the NBA now. Okay, see that book over there, Chess by Polgar? It's got yeah. 5,334 tactical puzzles. Mm-hmm. If you if you were 53, my age, and yeah. you go through all of those puzzles, uh-huh. don't you think you'd be a little better at tactics? Yeah, maybe. And like then, let's say you then read a book on the French defense, and you went through the whole book, mm-hmm. and you did the chessable style, you know, repetition, yeah. memorizing. You would be better at whatever you're studying, which yeah. doesn't necessarily make you a better player. It makes you understand chess better. You know, And I, I told some of my students this. Thanks to Sapu Bob for the nine subs. All right, now, 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 now listen to this crazy stuff I made up. I told my student this. There's a lot of people who play white bread chess, and they study, and they work hard, and they play solid, and they play slow in tournaments, and they're trying to play the right move, then you go on the streets, okay, where most of the players are African-American, but not all of them, and they don't play like that. They're, they're playing tactical, they're playing openings you've never seen, and they're crushing you. And you're like, well, wait a minute, that guy, that guy just plays for tricks every move. He, if I say anything about chess, he'll be, what are you talking about? If I'm like, this looks like Karpov, they're like, what, who's Karpov? They don't care about any of that. They're just playing tricky and they're playing fast. They're not trying to improve their game. And so what happens is those kinds of people, if they're watching a world championship match, the guy who's the white bread guy, he's going to understand the game better. The other guy doesn't understand what's going on. He just wants to see tricks, which, by the way, they showed at the end of Bobby Fischer where the guys like play for tricks. Okay, so the point is when you get better at chess, it doesn't mean your results in slow chess are going to get better. You hope that that's the case, but often it's not. But, you know, I, I kind of believe that. Like, I feel, so for, you know, the past, you know, number of months, I've been studying a lot and whatever, and I feel like there's knowledge 
that I didn't know when mm -hmm. I was younger, but it hasn't necessarily translated to performance. But my theory is is that it kind of takes a while to soak in. But also, you're a weirdo because you you just didn't play chess for a long time. Yeah. I mean, you, you're you're saying I played chess until I was 21. Then when I was 52, I picked it up back and I'm learning stuff. That's not fair. You have to play chess the whole time like I did and then say, can I learn stuff? Yeah. What am I going to learn that I haven't seen already? I've forgotten more than he ever knows. Is that, that's probably, that's certainly true. Yeah. But Who invited Malcolm Gladwell? See, that's what I think. Not, I always get Bob the Malcolm Dylan, Gladwell. Not thing. Bob Dylan, Malcolm Gladwell. I always get the Malcolm Gladwell. People stop me in the street and said, "Oh, I love your now, books," and I say, "Thank you." And then they say, "Yeah, Blink was the best," mm -hmm. and I'm like, "That's Malcolm now." What's Gladwell. your opinion of Malcolm Gladwell? Uh, I liked, I liked the book Outliers, although I very much do not believe in the ten thousand hour rule. Right, to, to, I thought that's already been refuted. Yeah, I mean, uh, Anders Ericsson was the the professor who who really made the rule and. Um, yeah, it's largely been refuted. But I always think, to, to your point about tricks versus white bread, I always think that if you, ex let's say you want to master some area of life, I think experimenting and kind of pushing the envelope in that area is like a good way to, to get better. Mm -hmm. But uh, the 10,000 hour rule, I, I just don't believe in. Mm -hmm. But I still, I still believe, I feel like I have the energy to play. There's these kids... They're great. They're machines. They know openings, end games, tactics. Yeah, they're kids, and and they know tactics really good. No matter what, yeah. they they don't they don't miss a thing, but or they miss some things, but not as much as me. But I feel like there's some strategic thing they sometimes miss because they don't have the Possibly. the age. Now, now in the Olympics, the girl who's who's cheating, okay, she's winning medals and she's the best, and she's 15. Now, why can't somebody who does what she does, why can't they keep improving when they're 25 be better than her? Do you think she'll be better at 25 than she is now? No, but I think there's more of a physical component to mm. whatever it is, this, whatever the sport is. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't think chess has a physical component? I mean, those no, it has a physical games, component. Those four-hour games are tiring. Five but, hours, okay. six hours. But, like, you know, I'm never going to be uh, as good a professional basketball player as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. There's a physical mm -hmm. component. He's seven foot two. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, I think there's in sports there's definitely physical limitations. No, no, but what I mean is if you take uh, the the girl in question at 15, can she be better at 20? Because she's she's herself. Yeah, but her phys her the physical stuff will decline for her much oh, more much quickly oh, than wow. for a chess player. Wow. Yeah, in a lot of sports you're you're finished. Yeah. Like, look, there are poker players who are older. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know that many, but it just depends. Like, like. You know, if there's a gap in your learning and you fill that gap, mm -hmm. then you'll. I assume you'll improve. Also, for getting better at blitz chess, by the way, don't you think slow chess gets you better at blitz chess? So the more slow chess you play... Unclear. Unclear? See, Karen's making fun of chess players now. Requires physical skills. Chess requires physical skills. Physical. That's why Magnus Carlsen's working out 24-7. He's always playing sports. Yeah. yeah. No, I believe, I believe there's a physical component. Mm -hmm. But... Not as much as a tactical component. <laughs> like if you study yeah. tactics, let's say all let's say twenty hours a day you study tactics, that'll overcome some physical aspect in chess. Whereas that won't, you know, Kareem Abdul Jabbar at the age of sixty, he just can't yeah. jump as high. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I don't know. Like again, uh, you know, I was reading. Uh, uh, Cyrus Lactawal, I don't know mm -hmm. how to say his last name. Yeah, that's right. He was say, he he recently has gone back to tournament play, I guess after COVID and stuff. Mm -hmm. And he was saying he he looks at a thousand tactical puzzles of the week before any tournament. Right. I don't know if that's true. It seems like a lot of tactical puzzles, but that helps him, I guess, overcome the physical deficiency of aging. Mm -hmm. Or so you think. A aging gives too. What does aging give? Do you have a certain wisdom? You have a certain mm -hmm. experience? Oh, you remember certain games you played, and you don't want to make the same mistakes. <laughs> Agent takes the energy but gives the experience. Yeah, and again, th these kinds of things I think are helpful in like Blitz and Rapid, and that's why Karpov can still beat Karyak in one and a half half in Blitz. But, you know, when you're playing a lot... See, and again, it depends on what you're interested in. If you take Nakamura and you say something like, well, he hasn't played chess in two and a half years, you could also say he's played more chess than anybody. Right. Like, it blitz. depends what your definition of chess is. When you're old like we are, we think of chess as, like, the game goes four or five hours. And if you play, like, a blitz tournament, that's more fun. That's not like your whole life depends on it. Right. I mean, your whole, when you're playing a five-hour game, 
you, you know, you, 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 you insert yourself into the game like it's part of you. And then, you know, Blitz and Bullet is just fun. Especially when I'm playing you guys, then it's a lot of fun. And uh, in a in a five hour game, the worst the worst feeling in life is like <laughs> winning for four hours and yeah. fifty nine minutes, mm -hmm. and then like blundering a rook on yeah. the fifth on the fifth hour. Mm -hmm. So, but but again, in slow chess, you're calculating so much and you're looking at so many different variations. Don't you think that that it, it it's almost like three D blitz chess? Don't you think that adds to your? It's as it's as if you're playing like fifty blitz games in one five hour slow game. Because you all the calculating, all the variations you have to do. Yeah, but playing fifty blitz games would make you tired. <laughs> I mean, that's exhausting. Right. So that's yeah. what I was saying. Slow chess, this and then and then analyzing your slow chess games afterwards. Don't you think that might help you improve on the blitz stuff? Like I, th I feel like my it's, it's lead possible. chess rating and or mm -hmm. chess dot com rating has improved after playing slow chess. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people um, aren't enjoying chess as much when they they're enjoying thinking about how their rating is going and how they did yesterday instead of looking at their life's work. I like my students to look at their life's works. So I say, okay, what was your rating this year? What was your rating a year later? Not like I gained 10, I lost 15, I did this, I blundered. Yeah, that's, that's, just, that's just stuff that happens along the way. Yeah. So for you, instead of saying I had a good term, I had a bad term, I, good, I mean, that's going to happen. Yeah. You just, if you want to see if you're getting better, Look at your rating, and then a year later, tell me what your rating is, and tell me if you feel like you're stronger. No, I I, I agree with that. I agree that rating shouldn't be the goal. I, mm -hmm. That that improvement should be the goal. When you sit down to study, improvement should be the goal. And I think rating gets so addictive that people like yeah. they 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 get fueled by bullet chess and blitz chess to improve rating when they could be sitting and studying something or doing puzzles. And you need probably both, I guess, right? Yeah, and again, it depends what your what your goal is. If your goal is you want to, you think you can improve. As an adult improver, I mean, you can, especially since you took so much time off. You can. Yeah. Seems like you can improve, but I yeah, I mean, for me, crossed. for me, I'm trying not not to get worse. I just miss stuff that I used to not miss. You think so? You think tactically, even in yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm I'm worse. Yeah, there's no question. My brain, I miss the simplest of things. You know, even like against you, I saw knight h5 and I saw threat knight g3. And I knew you were going to play it. And then I'm like, oh, my knight's hanging. I just, my knight, I mean, that was just dumb. I wouldn't have done that 20 years ago. And because of that, you crushed me. No, you, you Ben won every game we played. I, although I had a trick or two, mm -hmm. Ben won every game and crushed me. We only played once. <laughs> yeah, I like this behind us, though. That's nice. Like, it's much better than it was. Yeah, you got, it's. You know, the lighting's really good, too. We can, we can see, we can see every hair. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, the only thing I care about is that uh, Hikaru always tells everybody I'm much better than Gotham Chess. That's all that matters. <laughs> hey, so why... why I feel like uh, the the Ginger GM, I was watching a beat of his, uh, mm -hmm. Simon Williams, and he was a, a little a little sad, a little upset about something you said about him. He was? Yeah. And this is years ago, I don't know. I uh, think I referred to him as a 1900 player. I, and I saw that stream, too. Yeah. I thought that was funny. Right, yeah, I'm a comedian. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, I make jokes. Obviously, he's better than 1900. He's, oh, he's a British GM, so I, maybe, maybe he's not. <laughs> Graham subscribed. No, but Britain is very strange, okay? I don't mean because of it, because normally yeah. it's just strange. By the way, you heard the prince, uh, he settled out of court, by the way. Yeah, yeah, I just, yeah. I just saw that. Yeah, he's innocent except for one thing. But anyway, <laughs> here's why the British chess scene is strange. 30 years ago, they had five world-class players. Top 10, top 20, top 30 in the world. Nigel Short, who was played for the World Championship. Michael Adams. Yeah. Uh, John Nunn, John Spielman, and Tony Miles. That was a good team. Yeah. Okay. And and who are the best players in Britain now? Michael Adams. I mean, and, and Nigel Short's play like third. Like what? And and nobody. Oh, David Howell, right? David yeah, Howell. but David Howell's nowhere near as good as those guys were. He's not top huh. 30 in the world. He's not top 40 in the world. Okay. Barely 2,700 times he isn't. Uh -huh. And everybody, I mean, what happened? How did they have five world-class players that could win any tournament and could win gold at the Olympiad, and now they're a joke? If they played in the Olympiad with their five best players, they're not coming in the top ten. So what do you think happened? Like, compare that to, like, India. Where India yeah, the has, opposite. They've yeah. developed, like, a whole, mm -hmm. like, a school of chess. Like, those Indians, yeah. they're, like, great at tactics, mm -hmm. openings. Kind of Brexit ruined them. I like that. <laughs> Maybe Brexit yeah. did. They couldn't. Uh, I don't know why, though. Jonathan Penrose. Man, that guy's going back a ways. 
Is, is he still alive? Is he related to Roger Penrose? He is. They're brothers. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Roger Penrose just won the yeah, Nobel yeah. Prize. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 The guy said no, but the answer is yes. Somebody made a documentary on Lev Albert? Yeah. That's so interesting. Oh, he died recently? Who was jo that? Jonathan Penrose, oh, I okay. guess. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's why he was in the news. So all those Penroses. Do you remember when uh, Lev Albert was like, he won the U.S. Championship three years in a row, mm -hmm. and there one time there was this match of the U.S. Championship mm -hmm. versus the U.K. Championship. They did that Nigel more than Short. once. Yeah. And Nigel Short beat him like nine to one, something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just remember looking at those games, mm -hmm. and it seemed to me at the time that all Nigel Short was doing was every movie was like poking Lev Albert's queen until finally Albert mm -hmm. would blunder. Like every single game. It was uh, very interesting to me. HS TV people, hooray! No, but what, what, why did Britain get worse? How could they have five world class players and then the only world class players they have now are the guys who were world class thirty years ago? How can Mike Lennon be like number one or two in the UK? Like, he, well, you know, he's maybe, my age. Maybe I, they didn't. I mean, what what do you think is the difference between like honestly? What do you think is the difference between England and and India in this? Well, somebody pointed out India has a bigger population. But, no, I think it's just the fact that whether you have the, the will of the people and the support to devote everything to chess. And I think in India they do, and in England they don't. Like, you got, you, you know, there's a financial, you know, situation there. In India, there's not a lot of opportunities. A lot of people are very poor. Yeah. And in, in England, if you're like, well, I don't want to play chess, I want to go to university and, you know, and be stuck up like all my friends, then you can do that. Although those guys like Nunn and Mestel and Spielman, they did both. I mean, they were yeah. great mathematicians and great chess players somehow. It, but feel, yeah. it feels like the players now, they have to do nothing. Like you mentioned how, you know, John Nunn, he did other things. He's a PhD in math. Yeah. He was known in math. Like you can't do that now. Like everybody, although I guess Magnus Carlsen was, was known in the fantasy football. He was number one in <laughs> fantasy football. <laughs> number one in the hood too. And, and you know, Nepo was was tops in Dota. He could have gone, you know, in this, the video game route. Mm -hmm. uh, but they're pretty much just, like, someone like Koryakin is just, just chess, right? He's just done yeah. nothing else since he was 11 mm -hmm. years old or 6 years old. Zero years old. That's the right age. Now, what age did you stop playing in tournaments? Mm -hmm. 20, 28, 29. Mm -hmm. And then just started back last year. Yeah, last, just a few months ago, October. Mm-hmm. So it's a huge break. I didn't play at all, really. And I, and when I played in 97, I only played for six months in 97 in tournaments, maybe six, seven months. And then when I was 18, I played for like two years in tournaments. Mm -hmm. And that's it. And then maybe those little tournaments in between, but not, not that much. But since 1997 and now, zero tournaments. But um, I don't want to say I'm determined to get back to where I was before, but... I don't know. I don't know what my goal is, except I just enjoy improving. Now, this guy Carrick Fire says he bought one of your books since you streamed with me last. Oh, what, what I, book was it? He knows I, the names I, of his books. I, I I hope you like it. I don't like all of my books, so we, we we have to make sure you bought one of the good ones. About half my books are really bad. That should be the name of your next book. About half of my books are really bad. That's a good name. That's a read, good name. Read for half her. of this book. <laughs> By the way, you can make a ton of money from fantasy football because if you're good at fantasy football, you're probably a good sports gambler. Uh, which book should you buy? I don't like to recommend my book so much, but I enjoy reading or rereading the book Choose Yourself and my last book, Skip the Line. That did better than your other book, Lose Yourself. Yeah, Lose, lose Yourself. Well, no, that, you that did good that. for Eminem. <laughs> yeah, that's, he sued you and you had to settle out of court. Yeah. <laughs> Reinvent Yourself. Oh, yeah, Reinvent Yourself was a good one. Whose bookcase is in the back? That's well, Ben's bookcase. bookcase. You know, Karen, so all these chess Karen books. and me. You know, you know. It's our place, etc. Yeah, we're streaming from my basement as per usual. Red, sell yourself by making money. No, sell, making money is not selling yourself. You make money when you sell things that people value. <laughs> Nobody values me, Thanks, so Lucas. I have to sell other things. I, that's what I've done. I've done. I've done. Sometimes in that order as well. Reinvent yourself and lose yourself. Mm -hmm. We we were driving across country to Portland, Oregon for the '87 U.S. Open, and we stopped at a restaurant, 
And the guy, the guy who was the driver said, I was a kid, you know, 17. And the guy, he said to the waitress, how's this? And she said, that's terrible. Don't order that. And he said, okay. Yeah. He said, that's terrible. Don't order that. Horrible. It's, it's, the, like, be, it's the, be, you yeah. know, the best. You know, the best sales technique is to recommend your competitors. Like, mm -hmm. if you say, you know, oh, don't use my company for this. I know the perfect company for you. Then they're always going to use you because they, mm -hmm. they trust you. And the plant is new. Even better than planting a. But this whole setup is new. We not, were we not were better than Getty here. We were mm -hmm. perpendicular the last time. We were. Yeah, we oh, were. Yeah, you're we right. Were yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah. We've had three setups in the basement. Yeah. If you're only selling yourself, how do you diversify? Right. If you only got you good there. No, that that's a good point. If if for instance, if all you have is a job, that's only one stream of income, and the, even the IRS says the average millionaire has at least five or six streams of income. A job is only one stream of income, so you can't just do one job. Now, what about in the movie The Jerk with Steve Martin when he got his first job? What about that? What was that? that was in the circus, right? Or where was that? What was that? No, he told them he got a, a B job, and then his, and then like <laughs> they were like, "That was great," and the guy was laughing like his brother, but the mom was like, "Oh, he got a job." Planting and getting your joke, you like that? I'm gonna throw out Castaneda soon, but you might not have heard of him. Yeah, my dad studied under Planting and Getty Ear. If so, you can believe that. Someone ever said, do you ever read the reviews of your books? And I do. And I get sometimes very disappointed. I, I wrote a book once mm -hmm. when, yes, I am a national master. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hold on to that title. I One time I read one of the reviews for my books, and it had more it had more likes on the review. And it was a, a one-star review. The, the guy hated the book. It had more likes than actual readers of my book in that particular book. Mm -hmm. It was a book I wrote uh, convincing people, trying to convince people not to go to college, which is a huge waste of money. Did you go to college? I went to three different colleges. Yeah, I went to Wayne State University twice, and I went to University of Michigan very briefly, and I went to Eastern Michigan University, but I never got a degree. If I didn't go to those schools, I wouldn't be the man I am today. <laughs> well, that's, that's just it, is that you feel like you, I mean, you wasted your time there. Like most people shouldn't go to college. I mean, I went when I was old. I had already not gone to college. I started like going to college when I was 28, 29. Really? Just to do something else, yeah. Did you ever get like so disgusted at chess that you're like, I'm gonna just be a lawyer? No. No? No, I'm a lawyer. My brother's a lawyer. Yeah? yeah. What, did you ever consider any other career other than chess? No. What about in your worst chess moments? What was your worst chess moment? What was like a I moment mean, where like you were like, oh, what I, am I doing? I think when I played Knight takes D6 against you and you <laughs> played Knight H5, I was like, mother. How son. could that be your worst moment? That was my mm -hmm. best moment. You, yeah. you should have enjoyed my yeah, own right. yeah. appreciation I, I felt, of the moment. Yeah. I always felt like I was going to win the game. I was never worried. You, yeah, you never should have been worried. Yeah. So Never worried. Well, I was losing in the final position. What, what, seriously, what was, what was like a moment mm -hmm. where you really doubted your choices in chess? Well, never. Never? No. Yeah. Now this guy says, "See that Deuces guy? Deuces wild there." Yeah. Yeah. What What do you think of what he said? <laughs> well, but w when you go to college, are you getting an education, or are you? I I find that a lot of people. Okay, let me give you my own example. I went to undergrad for computer science. I went to graduate school for computer science. My first job after all of this, my first job in the real world, I, I my first job in the real world, I was so bad at computers they had to send me to remedial computer programming classes that's how much and i was a good student i got into grad school and everything so um yeah you, i agree with this one you're getting a degree not an education it's like it's like what ben was referring to you're getting a chess rating sometimes not really improving at chess now did you write the movie goodwill hunting is that what you're saying i i, I did not no mm -hmm. uh did you ever see the play? There was a play. You know, Mindy Kaling got her start because she wrote a play about Goodwill Hunting, and I mm -hmm. think she played Ben Affleck. And there, it's just it's about these just two really stupid guys, and then suddenly from heaven, this screenplay falls down, and they have to like do something with it. And that's it's a play about the story of Goodwill Hunting. Mm -hmm. And that's how Mindy Kaling. After that, she went on the Office. That's how she got on the Office. I know. I I know her from uh, uh, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Oh, Mindy Kaling was on his always on the Yeah, she replaced Dennis for like three episodes or two. You're when kidding. He, when he went to live with his wife or I don't know. It was, uh, it was a long story. I, I, 
You know, that's a great that, that the story of it's always sunny in Philadelphia is great. They they shot that on their own. They didn't try mm-hmm. to pitch an idea. They shot that on their own in like some back alley of Philadelphia. And then it was so great that, you know, Fox didn't want to pick it up, but FXX picked it up, like mm-hmm. this this t- third tier channel. And then it was so popular the first season, they were like, "Oh my god, we've got this hit." So they threw Danny DeVito into it to give it like that professional kind of character. And the two producers of it, the guy, the real, the people who produce it are the are Mac and his wife. I, ever, I forget her name, mm-hmm. uh, but she's the sister in in the show. Mm-hmm. And now they're worth like thirty or forty million each because that's in its fifteenth yeah. season. Or yeah, something. that's one of the longest running show that shot that way ever. Like, yeah, really, really, they shoot it. It's funny that Danny DeVito, who's been in a million great things, this is the thing he's been in the most. Yeah. I mean, which is weird because he was so good at Taxi. And Taxi was so great. So he was good in um, One Flew of the Cuckoo's Nest, but he was a small part. Oh, still, I don't even still, remember him from that. Yeah, he didn't yeah, say oh, too yeah, much. Yeah, he was in that. Yeah. I liked everybody on Taxi, like oh, Mary Lou Henner. Yeah, and Christopher Lloyd was in Cuckoo's Nest also, but he had more of a prominent role than Danny yeah. DeVito. Christopher Lloyd. Uh, who, who's the guy? Tony Danza, Judders. Yeah, Tony Danza. Judders, of course, Andy Kaufman. Mm-hmm. I still watch. Did Andy you ever Kaufman meet Andy videos. Kaufman? Nah, nah, never. Met. He died in like 1982 yeah. or he's yeah. what, what did your homie say about him? You know people that knew him. Oh yeah, everybody thought he was the the biggest genius ever. Mm-hmm. There's never going to be anyone. Yeah. I mean, people like him and Robin Williams. They had something really special that no one no one really has now. You can't even do Andy Kaufman type stuff because he so dominated mm-hmm. that genre that uh, uh, you, you, he's he's the only Andy Kaufman there'll ever be. Which makes sense, I guess. Mm-hmm. No, no, he's uh, he's special, yeah. Let's see. More about your character. See, every every message board on the world... Mm-hmm. Have you ever heard of Godwin's Law? This guy, Mike Godwin? Mm-mm. So Godwin's Law is that every message board conversation, eventually someone says, you're just like Hitler. Mm-hmm. So that they, they all converge on that. I thought of a Holocaust joke today that I was like, man, I can't tell that joke on stream. Tell it. I can't tell it. Whoopi Goldberg could tell it in The View. I'll tell you after the stream. Then then if I tell on stream, Karen will be really upset. Yeah. I mean, but, you know, that's the the thing, though, about comedies. Everyone knows the Holocaust is not funny, but (laughs) jokes about it could be funny. Don't tell it. No, I'll tell you after the stream. Yeah. Okay, but my, my, my wife always says that to me, too. Like, if I have, like, so we, we, we were meeting the parents of one of our kids has some friends and we were visiting the parents Mm -hmm. and we've never met them before and we're going there and they're concerned about COVID. So they're like, you know, they were joking around when we first entered, does anybody have the virus? And I said, I, if you mean COVID, I don't have it, but yes, I have AIDS. And they didn't like that. They, everybody was silent. And finally my wife says, he ignore him. He's a comedian. Just ignore him. So, mm-hmm. or another time, um, you know, my wife has three kids. I have two. Some mm-hmm. people say, you're like the Brady Bunch. Right. And in, in deference to you not telling the Holocaust joke, I won't tell the joke I usually say then. Mm-hmm. But my wife always has to explain then that don't listen to him. He's just <laughs> practicing his comedy. Not very well. <laughs> yeah, you aren't allowed to joke about things that might offend people. Mm-hmm. So, so, but it's just, it's just like though, no one's going to go up on a comedy stage if, and, and say racist things if they're a racist. Like, that's not the place where racists go to do racist mm-hmm. things, is the stage of a comedy. That's just their normal club. life. They're right. just, yeah. Like, like, I, I, one comedian was once explaining that, like, he made some joke about beating his girlfriend up. And he made some joke about beating his girlfriend up so much she went unconscious. And then, and then people were like, boo. And he said, come on, of course I would never do that. Of course I'm not going to beat my girlfriend up to the point where she goes unconscious because then she won't learn the lesson. And, right. you know, and he just goes on. You can't give, you can't, you can't give up either. You have to commit no. to mm-hmm. the, the joke. So, but, and again, his point is, is that no, someone who does that is not going to be up on a comedy stage talking about no, but it. We're, but what Karen's worried about is people say things on Twitch and they get banned. Twitch bans them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And for, like, basically nothing. Yeah. 
Yeah, Russell Peters uh, walks that line. I once saw him perform with uh, David Schultz. Michael Richards is a great example. Not a comedian. He's a comedic actor, but right. clearly he's not a stand-up comedian because he didn't know he didn't he did the worst thing in the world. Mm-hmm. Twitch isn't the place for comedy. That might be true. Mm-hmm. That's true. Mm. Yeah, Michael Richards wasn't doing a bit. He went on. He he, he he's not a stand-up uh, comedian. Oh, everyone knows you're on Cameo. Everybody should buy Ben's videos on Cam- on Cameo. Mm-hmm. So what is it? They they someone says, "Can you? Um, it's my dad's birthday. Mm-hmm. Can you?" He plays chess. Something like this. that, right? Yeah. yeah. David Pakman does that too, and I'm like, who would hire Pakman for a cameo? Like, who's David what? Pakman? Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> Isn't he a venture capitalist? Yeah, he's an economist who has like a podcast oh, and yeah. has his own show, and it's, you know, yeah. he's boring. You know? Yeah. He spends, you know, 95% of He's probably watching now. I've played him. He's probably on the stream now. Like, what? But I mean, he's not somebody that should be doing, like, getting a lot of cameos. Like, he's not, that's not his personality. He's very well spoken. His, yeah. his grasp of the English language is really good. But I mean, if you want somebody to ro- roast you, it, it ain't David Pakman. Like if we roasted people, they would be roasted. So like, I, what, what did you do? To, what have you done to roast somebody? Like, what have you? Oh, they even tell me like you have to roast this person. Yeah. Oh yeah, I just tell them how much they suck, and I can't <laughs> believe this person. You know. Yeah. Yeah, Michael Richards, by the way, claims he's good at chess. So one time I reached out to him, actually, to see if he wanted to play, but mm-hmm. he, he said no. No. Mm-hmm. All right, so, Ben, let me ask you this. You always say openings don't matter so much. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to ask these the people, the good people on Twitch, if, if Ben Feingold people. gave, like, opening lessons on Twitch... Would you would you like them? Like if he taught you everything he knew about I do have opening the French I have whatever. opening lectures. I you yeah. know, Wednesday nights people want yeah, they yeah. Yeah, I give mm-hmm. lectures on the openings. You know, only Born Cloud, correct. Yeah, Joe Burrow's the quarterback for the Cincinnati Bengals is always playing chess on chess dot com. Really? Yeah, true story. Um, was, do you think he was playing chess a little bit too much? Uh, he played the Super they, Bowl? They, they claim he played ten games on chess dot com before he played the Super Bowl. Really? Yeah. By the way, that one guy said a one a three. You mentioned Tony Miles. Tony Miles beat Karpov with that move. Well, that was one a six. Oh, a six, right? Yeah. One a six. Mm-hmm. A three also good. Nobody's good at chess who's famous. Like, oh, is that guy good? He's famous. No. I hope I answered your question. Whenever a poker player says they're a chess master, that means they're fifteen hundred at chess. Well, Dan Harrington, was it, wasn't he? 2,300. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he was good. But he doesn't say how good he was at chess. Just, you know. R.I.P. Tony? Who's Tony? Oh, Tony Miles, probably. Yeah. Go Tony Miles. All right, let's do some hand and brain. If you were to do if you were to do A6, it would be kind of mm-hmm. like you could transpose well, to I've, some I've kind played, of Sicilian. I've, I've played that. Yeah. I've played A6 against E4. It's been a while. And what and, and what do you do? What's the second one? Like C5 and then E6? Well... Uh, I mean, C7. Miles played a6, b5, bishop, b7. Which is like it's common in like the modern. He's trying to switch to... Uh, yeah, he just... If Carpenter was e4, d4, you could switch to the modern. It was e4, d4, yeah. I forget the game. Sting was good except for one thing. So challenge us unrated, and we'll play you a uh, hand and brain game. Five minute. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. I'm going to be the, bra- the brain because... Ben's got the mouse your, there. Your, your brain's better than mine. <laughs> not at chess. Yeah. And no. probably not in anything else. So we'll see. No, that can't be Lee Chess. You're watching chess. You're watching on chess.com, right? Yay, go NordVPN. Oh, I have good news about NordVPN. Good news, everybody. The bad news is nobody's challenging me. So that's weird. There we go. Um, NordVPN has re-upped the uh, sponsorship for three more months. So you're going to hear me, like, shill for them for three more months. Can you take it? Probably not. All right. Go NordVPN. Are you ready? Yeah, This guy's 1,400. Then you say the piece, and then I move it. Okay. All right. Uh, the, okay, the queen pawn. No, you say pawn. Pawn. You Sorry. don't say queen pawn. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, I'm, I'm learning the sense. rules. Yeah. All right. 
<clears throat> yeah, you just say the a name of a piece. Bishop. Knight. Pawn. Oh. Uh, pawn. Pawn. This guy's pretty crispy. Uh, king. <laughs> Bishop. We need a James emotes. Yeah, that would be good. Uh, Bishop. If you say Bishop enough, we're going to lose all the kids watching. They're scared <laughs> of Bishops. Uh, I'm scared of them too. Yeah. Uh, night. So this is a serious thing. This is not a joke. Yeah. Whenever I go to a church for like, usually it's a chess reason, a chess camp or a tournament, there's pictures on a wall of like older white men. Okay. Uh -huh. I, don't, I don't know about the church people. I don't know. To me, that is evil. When I see that, I feel evil. Like those people. Like, that's, that's where evil lives in those pictures. Thank you. All right, your turn. Bishop. Why does evil... Why, I don't why? know. I, I feel it. Like, I feel like there's an evil presence. Like, they're just... It's scary, those people. Maybe you're just scared of churches. I, I don't like churches. It's true. Yeah. There's a, I feel evil when I'm in a church. Like, it's, you know, it's an evil place. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like old white men. It's true. Queen. Yeah. Pawn. Yeah, my mom always said, eat your vegetables and don't trust Whitey. <laughs> do you think? Do you think? Do you think Jewish people consider themselves white? Uh, probably. Uh, night. Oh, I went that way. Man, can I make that joke? You set me up for a really good joke. I'm, yeah. I'm trying very it, hard. It, it, had, it had to do with, you know, we consider them people, but I didn't. <laughs> if only Aviv was here. Night. He might be here watching. Unlikely. Ask Whoopi. And you can ask Whoopi if Jewish people think they're white. That's, that's true. Yeah. Uh, Whoopi Goldberg. Mm -hmm. uh, the well-known Jewish person. Yes. Goldberg, well-known. Uh, uh, queen. Oh, very clever, Ben. I wasn't even thinking of the queen going to that. It's, square. it's too clever by half. You, you, you're the hand and the brain. Who? Well, you were thinking here. I was thinking, yeah, that direction. Yeah, I knew what you were thinking. I have to know what you're thinking and then what I'm thinking. Your move's probably better. I don't know. But I thought that would surprise you. Uh, Rook. Two knight. Give me the knight. Uh, I'm a little afraid now, Ben. <laughs> um, knight. Uh huh. Two knight. Give me the night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ivkov did die yesterday or the day before. Less Ivkov. grandmasters in the world. Borislav Ivkov, who's 88. Uh, I'm going to go with Rook. Yeah. I'm following the Ben Fine Gold rule, always sack the exchange. There you go. Can't let only one of these guys sack the exchange. Mm -hmm. uh, and now, now Knight. That Knight's just going back and forth. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
Uh, I'll go with Rook. It's Rook Demonium. Gotta be careful here. This guy is plays it, faster than we do. This is stressful. We're slow and old. <laughs> you, you're a young man. I'm younger than you. You're a young, strapping young man. Young and strapping, yeah. Strapping. Strapping. Mm. Mm. All right, night. Oh, I went in a different direction again. Yeah, I knew you wouldn't think of that. I did not think of that. Mm -hmm. That's why you're a GM. I like to confuse the guy. See, tactics help. Pawn. Studying tactics. Hmm? Don't ignore tactics. What's tactics? I studied Tic Tacs because Karen said my breath was bad. Well, now I think you should. I really think you should do chess videos on TikTok. Tell him he should do. Uh, I was chess banned, videos. On I was TikTok. banned from TikTok for being forty years too old. Look, we're catching up on time now. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks to your. Bro, I was just going to do the boring night F3. Mm -hmm. That's boring. That's the difference, is that I'll play that white bread stuff, and you're playing mm -hmm. all the tricky stuff. Probably your move was better. No, I saw night F3. This looks good. Mm -hmm. uh, pawn. <laughs> Would you have done that? Pawn takes rook? I guess you didn't have to. I could have just moved it because it was still hanging there. Um... All right, Bishop. Just trying to do some kind of Ben style trickiness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What have we got here? Uh, pawn. I I was thinking you would do that. Uh oh, can I take it back? <laughs> Queen. I was thinking maybe you'd go to a6 or something. Or g4. <clears throat> Pawn. We're going that a little too easy. slow here. Okay, we gotta hurry <clears throat> up. Mm -hmm. Pawn. Bishop. King. Rook. King. King. Bishop. Pawn. Oh. Uh, Rook. <laughs> don't like that. Uh, bishop. Rook. King. King. Let's repeat once. King. King. Bishop. King. I'll just play now since we have no time. I would have, I would have said all these pieces anyway. Mm -hmm. No. My fault. My fault completely. No, you did everything right. Five mistakes, four blunders. <laughs> it says we're the best. That wasn't the best game ever. No, I, I apologize. 
It was pretty good. It was exciting. What was, what was my biggest mistake there? I think at the end there, maybe... Yeah, here you, 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 you hang your bishop. You, played, you said rook, which hangs our bishop, oh, which he yeah. didn't take. See? And then you could have played bishop e5 check, winning his rook two moves in a row. Uh, um, back here. See? Tactics are everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. In this yeah. position, you could go here. Yeah. I got nervous. In this position. Yeah. Actually, it was two moves in a row. Yeah. It's all right. Oh, no, it was just one move. Huh. Okay. It was just one move. Another one? No. Yeah, we'll play uh, somebody. 2,000 is a bit too good. How about 900? I'll play the 2,000 guy. But he'll crush us. No, 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 no. We're slow and old. No, we'll, we'll, we'll. All right. Pawn. Mm -hmm. you, should do the eight, you should do the Tony Miles. Uh, night. Pawn. Yeah, really, really loudly, too. And you want to play D5. The, the Falkir counter gambit. No, uh, that's not this. Oh, is that this? Yeah. Oh, this is what it is? This is the Vienna. Uh, we thought the Knight's out it would be. All right, Knight. Oh, give me the Knight. Mm. Pawn. <laughs> oh, is you just playing the key? You don't think that that's not? Oh, no, the fault for your counter, bar counter gambit. It's something else. Uh, knight. Oh, give me the knight. Mm. Bishop. Mm -hmm. Pawn. You said pawn? Yeah. Right. Oh, why didn't you just see five? I'm curious. Change my mind. Knight. <clears throat> it's like a weird kind of win hour. Uh, that's like that wasn't good. <laughs> uh, queen. Yeah, when they attack our pawn, we're supposed to do something about it. That was a, that was a sacrifice. I know. Queen. And an excellent one. Uh. Thanks, Dankel. Who? Queen. queen. At least I made him think. There you go. Thanks, Grimok. That was grimockly correct. Uh, For those of you that is joining us, hi. This is James, I'll touch her. And this is Ben, I won't touch her. King. Man, with a name like I'll touch her, no wonder you like Woody Allen and Louis C.K. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's Queen. Mm. I guess Louis C.K.'s favorite is uh, The Divinals. The Divinals? Yeah, they have one hit song. You know what it was? No. Yeah. I touched myself. <laughs> uh, Bishop. Yeah, I'm getting into a lot of trouble here. Because you like Louis C.K.? Probably. Uh, uh, okay. He likes Joe Rogan more than I do. Rook. <clears throat> That's fair to say, right? Um, I have nothing against Joe Rogan. So there you go. I have never been on Joe Rogan, though. Hmm. He's starting his own company where he's selling hair product, Joe Rogan. It's called Joe Rogan because he's already bald. So, uh, Knight. 
Night moves, night moves. I feel like I should have done that rook on f7 earlier. It's you. Pun. Still theory. Bishop. It's like playing hand and brain with Karen, but he's slower. <laughs> oh, snap. Play faster, Ben. I, I move as soon as he tells me to. Bishop. Yay, thanks, Phonetic Fox. <clears throat> oh, oh, we're not ahead on time. Yeah, but we're not doing that badly. We held on so okay, far. For you. Back to the lock with you, Nessie. Remember, the more you donate, the more we win. Bishop. What? It's not our turn. Oh, I thought it was our turn. So I made a mistake. Now it's our turn. Bishop. Don't shoot. Now shoot. And knight. Night moves, night moves. Night. It's funny how the night moves. Our game is better than it was like six moves ago, five moves ago, and four moves ago. And we're ahead on time. That's crazy like Fox News. I guess he's letting us win. <laughs> feeling sorry for us. Yeah. feeling sorry for me. Uh, how about Knight? Oh, I thought you were going to Knight C4. That hangs a piece. There's a pawn. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't going to hang a piece. The important thing is to think Night. forever and then just say move. <laughs> King. Go us. They didn't donate enough. That's why we're losing. We're waiting on time. We're gonna, we're gonna flag this guy. Come on, James doesn't even own a car. Let's get some donations going. I don't own a car. Terrible. I don't drive. There we go. Grunge or two hundred cent to do. What, what, what are those diamond things? Um, Nothing. It's fun. Rook. Say foo. Pawn. Yeah, we're not as bad as we play. Uh, night. Go us and we. Uh, pawn. Uh, pawn. Ah, never play F3. Uh, Rook. Darn. <laughs> you could play his F3. No, we were winning in one move there. But oh, oh. Too complicated. What, what was it? Actually, that was my fault. I could have won by doing something else. Even your move won. Okay, your turn. Uh, Rook. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll show you what you should have done, and I'll show you what I should have done. No. Take Rook. your time. Take your time. Make sure we lose on time. Uh, 
Rook. 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 Mm -hmm. I gotta be, now I gotta come up with something new. Pawn. Well, we have 19 seconds. King. Rook. 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 All right, I'll take over since you're you know, not the fastest. <laughs> hey, you won. Man. So we had a forced win. Then when you didn't play it, I got flustered. But I, I could have had a forced win anyway. So, so this is a blunder. We play F2 and we win immediately. Because this rook needs to pin the pawn. Ah, uh, yeah. So that, okay. Uh, but when you said rook, I could have gone here and won brilliantly. Oh, well, actually, he can play here. No, no, then I take. Yeah. Yeah, this would have won brilliantly, but I just. That's nice. I was, I was like, please play F2. And then you said rook, and I was like, damn. But yeah, this also wins. This wins immediately. Take the rook. All right, good game. Yeah. Yeah, we're not as bad as we play. Thanks for the 500 cent to do. The I'll touch your joke wasn't half bad. Well, he started it. He told me how to pronounce his name correctly. I don't know. You know, I used to tell, like, when I was on news shows and stuff, I would tell the anchors. That's how you say it. But and they didn't want to say it that way. But now I don't know if that's if that's appropriate anymore. Yeah. Um, w One more here? Yeah. We got some challenges. An yeah. FM challenge you do. What? That's rated. Oh. That's not a kid. That's tiny. He's like five oh, years old. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm four. <laughs> Squirrel brain subscribed. Hooray. Yeah. Hey, Tani, how you doing? He watches the stream. <clears throat> Did you want to play Tani a three-minute game? Sure, but let, you just play him. We'll, we'll watch. Oh, you you right. explain it. All right. <clears throat> well, okay, Tani's younger than me. He's going to crush me. Tani's younger than me. He's going to crush me. Did I explain it good? I, I In the Washington Chess Congress, I played it in the board right next to him. Yeah. I think he set my clock for me. Yeah. I didn't know well, he's, a, he's a little kid, so yeah. Yeah, he's too good, but I'm three good. He talks in the chat sometimes. He's like, man, you suck. What are you, an old man? I'm like, yeah. Someone, I, I, re I remind you of a young Yuri Averbach from like 1943. 1940. Yeah. Just turned 100. Yeah. Okay. Quiz, name two Averbach variations. Um, I'll be Bach. Oh, wait, that's Schwarzenegger. Well, there's the King's Indian. Yeah, there's Bishop E2, Bishop G5, and then King's Indian. Yeah. There's, there's one more I know of. Averbach, uh, I give up. It's D4 and C4, but it, it stays a modern. Huh? So, so you never play Knight F6 in the modern, even though mm -hmm. the other guy plays D4 and C4. If you say so. What about Averbach to the future? Man, that was a good move. All my moves have been good this game. Um, okay, rub it in as opposed to the last two games. Yeah, I'm playing great. I'm great. Well, that's an interesting move. Uh, yeah, the truth hurts. Uh, I still have more time. Still theory. It's my game with Tani. So what, what's going on? What's happening? Yeah, I'm losing by more time. Well, so he's got those pawns in the center. It's pondemonium, I tells you. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. Hey, yay, yay, and so on. Let's see. Uh, 
looks pretty bad. Where's the resign button? I, I blundered. I should have resigned. Now, what a mistake. This one? Yeah, if I, did, if I were to resign, I wouldn't get punished like I'm going to get punished. I do have more time. See, the way to beat Tani's boring, you know, and his flag falls, and instead, like, it's the sharpest position ever, and my flag falls, and I blunder every move, and I have, I have some more complaints. I'm not sure what they are, but I have them. Yeah, he's not as bad as he plays. Always sack the exchange. Hmm. Let's see. Yes, that's the theoretical move, right? <laughs> Got to gain time on the clock somehow. I think that was a novelty. No, it was good because he had so many winning moves. He was like, what? What do I do? So he was confused. Uh, let's see. Here. Can I get mated in one? If I get mated in one, I'm going to lose. It took him so long to see that move. All right, so says Rook's pins, but uh, I got some issues. I need a tissue. <clears throat> uh, I guess I could lose on time also. So, what are you thinking of here? Uh, you know, resigning. Oh, well, I want to win on time because I can't win on the board. So I'm trying not to get mated or let him queen. He always wins and like he has seconds left, but it's always like you know, he's gonna win terrible. You know, take your time. What he didn't know I moved? What happened? <laughs> oh no. Was 0. 0.2 seconds. That was good. <laughs> good he did game. it on purpose. Good yeah. game. What for who? For for it was a good game to appreciate. Oh, okay. It was good to watch. Yeah. All right. Now I have to beat him the old-fashioned way, to death. Oh, interesting. Yeah, F3 is no good. Never play F3. Why do you think a young player like that doesn't play like the E5, the the, the mm -hmm. classical? He doesn't know what that is. He was old before we were born. You gotta checkmate these little kids. See, when I lose to Tani, people think I'm bad. But they don't realize I don't have to lose to Tani to be bad. I can just be bad on my own. What would Michael Jackson say? My turn. Hmm. Very easy to defend. Uh, let's see, where's the checkmate? I don't really want to play that. But, all right. What's Tani saying? Hi. Hey, Tani. Go, Tani, but mainly go, Ben. Hey, that's my queen. Always repeat. Yeah, I have to have more time. It's my only hope. Gotta have hope. 
Oh, he said hi to you also. Oh. Tani says hi. You, hi, hello back, Tani. Mm -hmm. You don't have to call me mister. You don't have to call him nasty. Uh, let's see, my queen's trapped. Let's see here. That traps it more. It's like the sound of music. It's the Von Trapped. Yeah, I can't lose my queen if I uh, trade him off. It's good advice. Mm hmm. It's advice. <laughs> good advice, I don't know. But it is advice. I have the two bishops, and he has the Vatals. Kids today. Always moving their pieces to and fro. It's tempting me to play knight takes, hmm. but all right. I'm too old for that. He has more time than me. No. So what do you think of this position? Uh, you know, unclear. I'd rather have my position, I guess. But, Why is that? Know, I don't know. I've got two bishops. King's better than his. White square is bought on d5, fe6. I have, you know, so, so you know your king's in the center of the board yeah, because it's more good. mobile? Yeah, that's good. I would rather have my position, he said. If he, <laughs> if he keeps wasting his time typing, then I have a chance to win on time. I mean, I'm an old man. This is my kind of position. I just squeeze and squeeze, and he doesn't know why he lost. He's like, well, when I lose this game, my game's fine. And I try not to hang everything. Trying is the first step to failure. That yeah, gives away this square, which I don't want to do. It seemed like I wanted to do it. Somehow I have more time. He's playing Ben Blangold. He's nervous. Oh, yeah. He's the nervousest. I thought that was mate. If you meet me in your dreams, you better wake up and apologize. That's my answer to that. Oops. Didn't see that. That's good. Hooray for Ben. Good game, oh. both of you. Uh, you know, there was one point I was curious. Could you have done mm. a rook takes, whatever was there, knight, and uh, then fork the exchange, fork the king and the rook? Mm. Probably. I'm old. You're, uh, you're a young man. You're younger than me. I'm not younger than that guy. He doesn't have, he has the energy of youth, but not the wisdom of age. But I was young before he was born. <laughs> That's that's true. But then he was that's born. a truism. Then he was born. Terrible. Yeah, why were you born, Tony? Come on. Terrible. 
How am I supposed to win if you're born? I wouldn't play the McCutcheon, but all right. I'll play some theory. Let's see, where's the resign button? Tony, how much do you study openings versus studying tactics? He doesn't know the meaning of studying openings. So. No, I mean, you see this Avi Manu has got like 21 million uh, points on Chessable. Six hours a day. Six says. hours a day openings or six hours a day tactics? Uh, yes, he says yes to both. Ah, uh -huh. wow. I believe Six him. hours for openings. Wow, okay. And do you use chessable? I'm asking him a lot of questions. But I'm good at tactics. That's correct. Did you start off good at tactics? He started off like, you know, just crying because he was born in the <laughs> one day. You know, come on. He might have been good at tactics then. But maybe. He's good at typing while he's beating me. You're like trying to like distract him. Like, hey, and he's answering every question and still playing faster than me. <laughs> Hold me closer, Tani, with the last name I can't pronounce. Count the headlights on the highway. Mm. Hold me closer, Tony Danza. Had a busy day today. Still theory. That's my game with Tony. Triple puns are three times as good. Grandmasters will be studying this years from now. Uh, that's what they'll be doing. They'll be like, how is that guy a grandmaster? What's going on? Hold me closer, Tony Danza. Stop the game. It's too exciting. What to heck? I'm too old for this position. Well, maybe that's maybe that's good advice, actually. Where's, like, where's the resign to, to avoid super tactical positions. Mm. I am good at tactics. Oh yeah, you're great. Hmm. Hmm. Too weak, too slow. Man, he's making fun of me. I like that. That's what I would do. I agree. Circle gets the square. He did a good video with uh, uh, Alex Botez in Washington Square Park. Didn't sound like something he'd do. <laughs> Tell me I'm too weak and too slow. Uh, I have more time than you, dude. Now who's too weak and too slow? Well, probably me. Um, let's see. Check, check. Out. Let's go here. And then he offers me a draw. Just funny. Uh, never. I'd rather lose a million games than draw one. <laughs> Hard to understand the math, but it's true. Threatening me? Well, that's not me because he has queen here. Also, he's, he's on the chat. Mm -hmm. you know, now he knows your threats. Yeah, this guy's, this guy's not really good at tactics. That's his problem. <laughs> if only he was good at tactics. Then and only then. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I don't know. Hold me closer. Ah, this game's too complicated. Let's see. Uh, that move I didn't see. Uh, I 
Yes, so winning. He was winning by just taking my knight. Queen A4 check, winning my knight. If only he was good at tactics. <laughs> He's too old and too slow. It's good that he's good at tactics, right? Otherwise, you know, yeah. That was a good game. Yep. I'm the best. Come on, donate. That was hard. We're getting a hype train Very going. Very exciting game. Yeah. They're telling me I'm too old. I am too old, but, you know, and I'm too slow. I actually can't argue with him. Hold yeah, so, me closer. So I'm just curious why he does that C5, but everybody else in the world does. Mm. Ooh, nothing wrong with what he's doing. No, I know. I know. I'm just... I'm just playing the Averbach because you told me to. <laughs> Thanks, NJ Crispy. That's the guy that beat us or drew us or something. Whatever he did, that's the guy. That's the guy, officer. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Averbach C5. I'll be Averbach. Hold me closer. Let's see, uh, castle. Let's see, then my bishop... Carry the one. Yeah, yeah, thanks. The answer is fries. Thanks, uh, Squirrel Brained. I think I will be at Foxwoods for that mm -hmm. tournament. I'm definitely going to be there. And I'll be square. I'm going to do both. Go, Foxwoods. Ow, Foxwoods. You play in World Open? Yeah, I haven't played in the World Open Nas since National 1986. Open? National Open? Uh, we're gonna yeah. see you at all these tournaments. Yeah, I'm gonna play the yeah, National we're, Open. we're going there also. I'm trying. I'm, I really believe tournament chess improves the blitz chess. Yeah. Well, you're crazy like Foxwoods. Yay! Thanks for the one cent, Tani. Do you think Do you think tournament chess improves your blitz chess, or they're unrelated? You're asking a kid who's three. Come on. I'm, I'm trying to distract him for you. I know. This is not the Averbach. And he spelled Averbach wrong. Unrelated. Yes. <laughs> Go, Tani. Tani, in my book, you're 12 years old. Professor Butts. Hey, Ben, please insult me. You got to pay top dollar for that. I still have more time. Hooray. F4, B4, we both resign. All right. I was resigning before Tani was born. So I know how to resign. Hold me closer, mm. Tani. Dancer. Check me on the highway. Had a busy checkmate today. Boom, 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 boom. Mm. Hold me closer. to check the ship F2. I don't know. That was good analysis by me. It was pretty short. <laughs> Yeah, I have to have more time than all my opponents at all times, or I have a 0% chance of winning. Because I always play really slow at the end, terrible and stupid. Do you get nervous? No, I just, I can't move quickly. I'm old. You, you know this old thing. You know, I think, I think the more you say you're old, the older you're going to be. It's true. It's like a cliche to but say then, that, but... But then I'll have more experience, so that's good. Man, that F6, F6 square looks good if I can get there. Yeah, maybe I can get there. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. Dang, he didn't let me get there. All right, I got to go to this square. Actually, I could go here, here, and then I'm too old. All right, I'll go here. Ah, I hung a piece. I saw it right after I played it. What an idiot. And now he thinks he's good at tactics, so I hung a piece. That's the worst part. Ah, uh, I'm still going to win. Terrible. Yeah, hanging a piece is bad. Don't hang a piece. All we are saying is don't hang a piece. Yeah, that's annoying. 
However, I was annoying before you were born. All we are saying is don't hang a piece. I still have more time. Coop. Yeah, it's like you and I hung a rook, but I still won. I want to hang a piece and still win against Tani. That's, then, then I'll feel bad. It's perfectly possible. Be like, that guy missed queen b6 check and he still beat me. That's, that's the whole point of everything. Uh, let's see. Check. Carry the one. All right. Yeah, I'm going to lose on time if I start thinking. Not my strong suit. somewhere oh, I forgot about here Andre darn how did I lose whenever I lose he's got like a second left I hate that part He didn't play mate in one? I thought he was good at tactics. <laughs> didn't play mate in one again. Man. Terrible. How do I lose to him? Ugh. What's the match score? Okay, 2-2. Two, 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 two. This is good. I'm not saying he's bad and doesn't understand chess, but, you know, I shouldn't lose to him. All we are saying. I remember when I was good. No, I'm just kidding. I don't remember that far back. <laughs> This is good. That's correct. We're the goodest. He's pretty good at trash talking. Who is that an insult to? Exactly. Yeah, I'm a tempo head. I was trash talking before he was born. You know, it's real. I always thought the real benefit of young kids learning chess is that, mm -hmm. as opposed to every other young kid, these young kids hang out with people of all ages. They're not just hanging out with you know ten year olds, eleven year olds, twelve year olds. Mm -hmm. Is they get to travel around the world. They they have friends of all ages and groups. Is this a Searching for Bobby Fischer remake? What's going on here? Yeah. It's Karen, I hope. Is it Karen? Yes. Hooray. Well, you can move the microphone a little bit closer. I can't hear you. Can you can hear me? On the laptop. Wow. Yeah. That's never happened. Yeah. Okay. It's never happened that people couldn't hear me. Just on the laptop. On the phone, I can hear you. I mean, ever. I don't mean streaming, I just mean always. <clears throat> Give peace a chance. All we are saying. All right, what do you think of this position? Yeah, I'm slightly worse. I have more time. Why do you think you're slightly worse? Because of the. I don't know. Maybe I'm not. I just like to be slightly worse. Yeah, okay. I guess I'm not slightly worse. All we are saying is I'm slightly worse. Uh, let's see, did I lose on time yet? I was insulting people before you were born, Tani. Then you were born, so things changed. <clears throat> I could have taken that, but I didn't see it. But I, th this was why I played there, was to play here. Why did things change? Because you were born. That, exactly. Yeah. If you were never born, things would be different. How? I'm not sure. But, you know, they would be. All we are saying is something, something dark side. <clears throat> Uh, I don't know. Seems like it loses. He needs to win. The kid needs to win, Ben. You're going to really beat a kid who what? says he needs to win? What? What did I do? He says he needs to win. Oh, you did? Yay, yeah. thousand cents of Jews. Thank you. Thanks, slow bones. Z Let's see. Yeah, it loses the exchange. Everything I look at is terrible. At least I'm playing slowly. That's the important thing. Hmm. All we are 
they're saying is something, something, something. Ah, oh, playing so slow and old. <laughs> Whoa, not just did I P3, I resign. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, you can play King E2, I can see that. Yeah, I have more time. Whoa, I thought he was good at tactics. I thought wrong. Never play F6, and I never did. Six mistakes, one blunder, Papa John's. See, that's a good rating, 2666. That's satanic. It is. It's double yeah. satanic. Double? This is too hard playing him. All right, now what should we do? You want to do puzzles? All right. I like puzzles. All right, let me change the scene. All right, let's get rid of this. Thanks, Tony, for the games. Sorry I didn't play better. Uh, let's see. What? Uh, I can't. I'm too stupid. Puzzles? No, that's not it. That's not that. You want you rated puzzles? Yeah. That's cheating, but well, I'm only thirty three ninety nine. Thirty three so ninety nine. Yeah. All right, so that's they, interesting. When they, he's had six hours of openings, he studies, and two uh, hours of tactics, and still loses to me. Ter <laughs> terrible. Like, can you believe? He's it? eleven years old. Ah, come on. He's he was. A he was he, he's not eleven yet, is he? All right. But how much time does he spend watching Family Guy? All right, this is black to move. All right. Uh, Where's the resign button? Move. All we are saying. Rook takes bishop. That hangs a queen, so these puzzles might be too hard for you. <laughs> Could be. No. Still might be rook takes bishop. No, that hangs a queen. Don't hang queens. All we are saying is don't hang a queen. Well, I don't no. know. Uh, Pretty sure it's queen c4 is the first move. Yeah. Pretty sure. Not not something like rook d2 check? It could be rook d2 check. I don't really like rook d2 check. I don't like queen c4, but maybe it's rook d2 check. What makes you think queen c4? Like what stands My out? My queen's attacked. And then I moved it. But maybe rook d2 check first is better than queen c4. I don't know. They seem sort of similar. I don't know. I like them both. Shoot them. Shoot them both. Why can't they both be right? If queen c4, if like rook bc1. And then rook d2 check. Yeah, but your move's probably better. We'll go with you. Ah, oh, don't go with me. Now we have to go. A new roll with me. <laughs> yeah, it was Queen C4. You know, their analysis is a bit. You know, they don't. Yeah, Queen C4. Like I want to go here, and then it's this. I saw this, and then I can go check, and then mate. Mm. So that's why the guy gave us Queen away. I was Queen C4. 
I should never trust anybody. Especially me. Especially me. No, never I mean, trust someone named I'll Touch Her. Eh, you know. <clears throat> so the obvious line is to take and play C2 and then D3, D, D2, D4, D3. Uh, let's see. Take, take there, there, there. Uh, that doesn't seem to work, though. So <clears throat> D takes, Rook takes. D4, then I could play King B4, I guess. Seems silly. Oh, yeah, so D takes. I mean, I should just be winning here. There shouldn't be any issues. Like, But see, if King E5 wins, then why doesn't King C5 win? What, does well, D3, King what happens on D3? He takes the knight. Oh, yeah, yeah. Stupid. I hate when that happens. Yeah, so, so DC, Rook takes. D yeah, maybe. C2. Maybe. Rook E1. I don't know. D5. D5. Uh, King comes in. Maybe. Perhaps, perhaps not. I think King can't come in because I'll pawn me on D3. Yeah, it goes D3. I mean, yeah. And then it comes in. Dun, 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 dun. Man, I like uh, like king here takes king here. I guess he could go here and escape that way. That I hadn't thought about. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, maybe no C two. What happens on um, D C? Rook takes on D four. Yeah, 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 D four, and then rook back, and then D three. Mm hmm. And then the king can't make it. it might work. Why not? Rook E one, D three, King F two. And then if D two, Rook D one, then I move my king. Yeah, that does win. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. And then I move my king. Well, okay, I don't have to move my king here. Yay! Yeah, yeah, you did good. You did All good, right. kid. You did Finally. good, kid. You did good, kid. Finally. Mm hmm. My youthful. Tactical skills. All right, now you have to do. Now you have to do well here. Um, all right. That is the question. So g6 takes knight f3 check and bishop g5. Seems pretty straightforward. That's good. No. Also, I don't know why I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, what happens on on bishop I don't know. g4? I don't know. Let's I don't see know. what it says. Knight. Oh, I didn't play knight h3 because I thought the queen could take. It just wins another pawn. Uh, yeah, I thought I thought the queen could take. That's why I didn't play that h3. That, you saw that pretty quickly, though. The whole that was, you won the queen that, no matter what. That was dumb. I'm the dumbest. All right, so this is rook check, rook check, bishop check, bishop c7, mate. Right? Ah, he went there. But it seems like my answer still works. <laughs> That was three thousand thirty-three. That's pretty quick. That was three thousand thirty-three. That was that was just like an easy puzzle. Man, look at all these extra pawns I have. Hooray. What? Is he threatening anything? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, he's threatening Rook takes pawn. Uh, not sure if I'm scared of that. What about Queen takes, Rook takes pawn, Queen takes pawn, check? Uh-huh. Yeah, then I can, take, can take the, the rook. rook. Yeah. Yeah, all right. I don't know. I guess if I take the pawn, he could take this. And then, uh, let's see. I guess I could take back, check here. And then rook if he takes that, you can do queen takes pawn first. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's a pawn. Take it. So do I take this first or take this first? Hmm. If I take this first, he can check and take and take this and defend his c pawn, which I should be winning. I'm three pawns up. If I do this and he plays b3, and then I check and take, he has check and back there. That is a problem. Which one? So here's what I'm worried about. I take, he plays b3. I check him somewhere. He plays here. Now if I take the rook, he checks. Rook back, rook here, threatening this mate. However, if I take this right now, then if he goes check here, then I can check and take the rook. So I think I have to take the rook first. Hmm. 
So I have queen takes c4 in the pocket. That way he can't play rook check, rook f7. It's weird because if I check and he plays b3, I can't get on that diagonal. I have to check because I'm down a rook, he's threatening mate. And then when I take the rook, he plays rook check, rook there, and I can't at rook f7 and I can't stop mate. I could perpetual him. So I think I just take, yeah. Then I can check and then take this. That was 29.19. Hey, I'm, we're back to the rating that we had. Yeah. Um, All right, whose turn is it? White. White. So the obvious move is queen e7 with unstoppable rook d8. <clears throat> but then he plays rook f8. And then, uh, I don't know, I resign. Then I play rook d7. I could take the bishop and play rook d7. Oh, no, then he has uh, queen a1 check. <clears throat> So queen a1 check and then... Uh, yeah, because queen defends g7. Mm -hmm. So maybe I check and play rook d7 right away. Then he has to check. And then king up. Then bishop e4 check. Now I do have a knight on f e5. So I could just play f3. That should suffice. I think that suffices. Which one? Queen e7, rook f8, rook d7, queen a1, king g2, bishop e4, f3. My knight's on e5 defending f3. And I'm threatening mate because my knight's blocking his queen. That looks right. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I just thought this would win. All right. Yay, we broke 3,400. 3, is, is it high? What's your high? Yeah, that's my high. Yeah, that was 3,050 rated. All right, now whose turn is it? It's 3,400 broke. I can't see your puzzle reading. Yeah, 3,406. So I'm down a bishop? That's unfortunate. Um, Where's the resign button? The answer is, I don't know. So I think it's queen f2, king h1, bishop c3, and then if rook f1, I can trade rooks on d1 and play queen e2. And that wins. So okay, queen f2, yeah, king, king h1. king h1, bishop c3. And like, your rook's trapped. So you have to play rook f1. This is messy. Yes. We can play rook g1. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to play rook takes d1, rook takes d1, queen e2. And then your bishop's attacked on e4 and your rook's uh, attacked yeah, on d1. Yeah. yeah, it looks good. Good stuff. Well, if it's right. All right, so he's playing some crazy move. I mean, pawn takes, right? How did that help him? I don't think it did. And then what I said before... Yay, 3,500 rated, wow. that puzzle. What does that mean? How do they calculate the rating yeah, of the puzzle? Yeah, I know, ridiculous. 12% of people pass that. That's pretty quick, so... Mm -hmm. so. Hooray. Well, it's because you're helping. Yeah, I didn't help on that one at all. Yeah. I can't take credit. Ah, this is too complicated. Where's Tani? Uh, why can't, oh, I can't take the rook because it's defended. I thought I could just check and take the rook. I forgot that the queen was defending it. That makes it tougher. Why can't you so just queen check and check. queen? Where? Here? Check. Oh, here. oh yeah. What am He's I got thinking? a bishop yeah. here and a rook here. This check, if he goes here, this wins. So he has to play rook e2. Uh, let's see. Then I can play rook e8, which is very hard to see. And then he plays he plays rook, e, rook c2. Then I don't know what to do. Maybe I can check and play rook f7 check and mate him somehow. Probably. Oh, that yeah, seems so pretty tenuous, we, him playing rook c. So I'm looking at queen check, then rook e2, then rook e8, then rook c2, then queen check, then king takes, then rook here check. Huh. Then... I figured I would mate him eventually. 
But maybe, you know, King G3 and I don't mate him eventually. I'm just crazy. It's also possible. But, you know, I got to do something. Something has to work. I don't see anything else to do. I mean, it's either Queen G1 or Queen D3. Queen G1, King E2, I don't know what to do. So I'm going to go with this. And then I thought it was Rook here, because if I play Rook here, he can check. So this looks right. Yeah. And then I thought maybe this one, but I wasn't sure. So now I have to think about this. Uh, check, King F2. I mean, I'm winning at least the exchange. I'm probably just winning that position. I don't know what else to do. He's going to check me on G5. Rook F7, Queen G5. Let's see how that wins. So it's probably here. Yeah. So the question is, do I take this first or play Rook F7? I think I take it first. That way it's hanging. There's less checks. I'm afraid if I check here, he'll play King here. Then I don't see what to do. Hmm. Because his king has here, I could have made him. If I do this, takes he plays king e three, and I do check, he could play queen e six. Takes takes, that's probably a draw. So that means I have to check here first. King moves takes, queen check. I could just I don't know what I could do. I'm not sure if I'm winning that position. Oh, yeah, I could play king g7, check king here, and I can play rook e8. So I think this is right. Yeah, and then takes. Oh, it wasn't what, takes. What about queen d3, check? Yeah, I didn't know why I would do that first. I could just take the rook. But maybe, yeah. Oh, it's because if the king goes to h4, he can't play queen h4, check. Yeah, it was 35-55, that puzzle. Hmm. Yeah, you I were guess right. there's a lot of checks, though. Yeah, I can't play rook h7 because my rook's hanging with check. Yeah, it's just there. That way, if it goes check, king here, he, or, yeah, rook g7, queen here, king here, there's no checks. He can't play queen here, check. Yeah, that was a good a good switch and zig. Yeah. Oh, well. I tried and I failed miserably. I think I still gained points because I've had a lot of the first moves. 34-24. I, I didn't know they they point on a... Yeah. Sometimes. All right, so I'm, I'm down. Oh, no, material's even, but my position sucks. Yeah, it's interesting. So I got to play for tricks. So C5 is the obvious move. And the problem is knight f6, check, and bishop takes b7. Unless that's not a problem. Maybe it's bishop a6. So I can checkmate him. Or it's queen b1, check, and then, no, then he has queen f1. Yeah, what do you do on bishop a6? I'm threatening mate. Yeah. Check. I don't know what you do about it. I got nothing. I don't see what he does about bishop a6. It looks pretty good. Yeah, it's probably this. Yay. Okay, then I have queen b1, and I can take this and this, right? Uh, take this first, and take this. Yay, that was 31.45 rated. Now I'm 34.32. Spencer did this yesterday. Hey, everybody, don't forget to donate. That was forget. <clears throat> All right, where's the resign button? How could it not be queen d3 check? Oh, because it could be queen b1 check, which I didn't see. Queen d3 check, rook takes? Yeah, that's right. I didn't see that. But I, and I, I didn't see that. This looks good, right? Because I have no other move. <laughs> that's my reasoning, is that's the only move. Yeah, well, there's no other move. So now it's rook e2, rook g7, or queen b2. Those are my three moves. I mean, if it's not this, I should quit. Okay, so rook here, check, king here. Then I have queen d3. Oh, yeah, I have queen d3, queen... Oh, queen g6 is covered. Damn. His queen's covering that. So rook here, king here. Uh, queen f1. Queen f1, king here. Rook g7. You mean g2? Uh, no, you rook g7. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, well, I've already played here. Yeah, I've yeah. Already, no cheating. <clears throat> I could play queen g1. That seems good. Then rook g3, because he has this, like, he's mating me somehow. 
What happens on rook g7? You could play rook g3, because if I take it, bishop e4 check wins my queen. So I have to be, thank you, Desert Squail. I. What happens on this? Because king f3, this is probably going to lead to mate. Because it is mate. <laughs> right? And then king to the back rows mate. So he has to play king f1. So after queen here, here, I can play queen here, check. King here, queen here, check. That has to win. Yeah, that has to win. 3318. Right. Yay, I'm 3437 rated. It's pretty quick. Go, Ben. That's what she said. Come on, it was Valentine's Day. So I can either play king here or queen takes pawn. King here, f7 is just wrong. So how could it not be here? Because this move is looking good. Right? This, this is pretty good counterplay. Yeah. So how could it not be there? What else could I play? I'm not going to allow that. Yeah, just this queen d7. Okay. Right. Okay. Now I have these four moves. After king here, you can't check me on the diagonal. So I like that. After king here, I like that too. I like every move. Like, to me, these both win. So I try to figure out why they don't. King c4... How can King C4 not win? And how can how can everything not win? That pawn's pretty good. Ah, Queen G4 check. Queen F uh, King D3 doesn't win because of Queen D1, so you have to play Queen F4. Takes, takes. I'm not sure that's winning. Looks like it's winning to me. So I don't know, G4, it looks winning, H4, yeah. But okay, after queen G4, queen F4, queen E2. So that's wrong. So it's king, C, it's king C4. Then after queen check, I have king B3. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. So, if I go here, he goes here. Yeah. Then if I go here, he just checks. So that's not getting me anywhere. Yeah. If I play queen F4, he plays queen E2. And then I'm, I'm not getting anywhere. So if I play here and he plays this, then I come in here. Now I'm getting somewhere. Mm. So I like that. And then probably this wins the king upon ending. I can't guarantee it, but I can guarantee it in a second. Queen f2, take, 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 g4, takes, h4, b4, h5. Um, yeah, then I can check here at the end and play king takes and I queen that. It's pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now this is the obvious move. Obvious move's always wrong. Th these both look like they win. Why would they not win? King here, he has to play queen e1, I think. Then he gets the e2 Then square. I, st I still do that that win. I still play here and win. But that means they both win after queen e1. So why is one move better? Ah! Ah! King c2, queen e4 check. King d2, queen d5 check. But king a2, there's no checks. So it's got to be king a2, even if it's not. That was 3140 rated. Wow. So Yeah, so, so I'm 3442. Are key. I can I can never get good though. Damn. So See, I told 3, you 3400 rated. Yeah, I can't get better. I'm already good enough. I still lose the little kids. All right, come on, you got to okay, help you me. Don't, you don't think you're better at tactics now than like 20 years ago? No. I'm old and terrible. Okay, knight check, pawn check, knight check, king g3. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, knight. Right. knight d3, king g3, f4, king here, knight f2. Knight f2 is no good. What about knight f2 check? Oh, no, that's nothing. Yeah, then king... You mean g2. Yeah, g2. Uh, knight check, 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 king moves. Knight takes... No, knight e4, no. Takes pawn, no. Hmm. G5, no. Hmm. Let's see. Whose turn is it? <clears throat> I 
Go Ben. Uh, this doesn't okay. look hard. Okay, uh, yeah. knight g2 check, mm -hmm. king g3, mm -hmm. knight takes pawn. King takes pawn, f4. You mean king takes knight? Yeah, king takes knight, f4. And then king h3. Probably, All right, that, has, was, that was my attempt. Probably he has perpetual, you don't have to take the knight. Uh, I don't know. I want to resign. Where's the resign button? Yeah, I'm afraid he's going to perpetual me by moving his rook back and but, forth. Uh, I'm not afraid. But I am afraid. Oh, but you could uh, move, uh, put the bishop on d7, for instance. Yeah. Play G five okay. first. What, uh, could there be an, a knight G two, king G three, then F four check? Mm -hmm. Then king H three, and then um, I mean knight H four might win there, but it's like eighty moves long. That I'm trying to play knight F three. I'm trying not to get perpetualed, mm -hmm. but that might win because my king can hide at F six. So maybe. I could always sack a piece and mate you. Uh, yeah, let's try that because this is too hard. I'm thinking knight check, king here, pawn check, king here, knight takes pawn. You can't take it because it mate. I'm threatening knight f3 and then mate. And I've won a pawn. This pawn's hanging. This is defended. And you can't really stop this mate. You have to start checking me. But as you said, I can stop the checks. No, oh. that was remember 31. the rule. Don't follow me. <laughs> this is the other move I was looking at. This is the other move. Okay, so it was that one. Oh, now I have four. Check. Yeah, I just didn't see how to win this. I saw this and I didn't care. Is there another move that's not this? I guess. Do knight g4. Do knight g4 check after. Yeah, but I didn't care about that. All right, yeah, I just didn't, I didn't think that was anything. Could go here, um, h5's a move. Nah, h5's no good. Oh, maybe it is. Yeah, even here I can't get it, it's, it's too hard. Bishop g4, f g4, why did I do that? I don't know. Did we look at this and it wasn't that, or we didn't look at anything? Uh, I, I forgot. What about uh, knight, knight e1? Threatening knight f3 and then rook h2? Yeah, slow. It's so slow. It just might work. Also h5. Uh, I don't know. Why is life so tough? All right, now I'm supposed to listen to you? You, well, you're not supposed to listen to me, right. but I would do ninety one. All right. See, oh. there you go. I think I just walk. I can't walk up here because you checked me twice. But you could do intervene bishop d seven if you. Okay. I'm not sure why we're done. All right. Yeah, this is going to be mate. And yeah, if you check, I just block with the bishop, like you said. All right. I yeah, that was a that, tiny bit. That says unrated. I don't know what that means. That was thirty-four seventy-three rating. All right. Back back to opposite bishops, and he has no bishop. <clears throat> so if I check with the rook, he plays here. 
So if I am going to play queen e1, rook b1, I have to play queen e1 first. Yeah, so why doesn't, why doesn't well, that work? Well, he could play king h2 and then h4. But, you know, i got to do something. And then h4 and then h5. You know what's funny? After, yeah, but there's no threat. Yeah, well, uh, there's no threat. Oh, uh, yeah. But you know what? After queen e1, if he plays king h2, I can play rook b2. Uh. Then if he plays king g2, then rook b1. Because <clears throat> he's uh. not defending h1 anymore. With his Wait. king on g2. Then you right, can't so, play h4. Well, then, so okay, queen e1. Rook b1 and he has king h2 and you can't do e1. Queen, rook, queen oh, e1, yeah. king h2, rook b2. Yeah, he doesn't have time for h4. Yeah, I think that's where Very it good. is. Very good. Yeah, then you go here. And then after here, then you play here. Yeah. Um, always play bishop f8, but I might make an exception here. Yeah, because then it's mate. So I'll go here. And then I have to go here, I guess. Uh, it's definitely winning. So, yeah. That was only 3151. That was easy. Thanks, aka Blue Jay. Hey, we're both getting mated. Hooray. Um, so B4 is there another first move. And then I can check with the knight. B4, king takes. Uh -huh. Queen D2 check. How about queen C5 mate? Oh, yeah. That, that works. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's not mate. Uh -oh. It was still right. But yeah, that's it was funny. Good enough. I thought it was mate. I mean, queen here, there was like blocking with the queen. Yeah. That's um, right. I like the way I said it was mate, and I was wrong. Um, let's see. It has to be Chuck. So it's let's see. It looks like it's queen c6. Oh, queen c6, and then a5 check. And then if knight b5, queen a6 check, and knight c6 check. Yeah, and then here, and then queen a5 is going to be mate. Yeah. That was 3290. It didn't seem that hard. So my rating is 3453. That was pretty hard. Yeah, you know, they, they could be harder. All right, so it's either knight f7 or queen h5. Queen h5, rook h7. Knight g6 check. Oh, then, no, then queen f7 check. Knight g6 mate. Yeah. Yeah, queen here, and if rook here, queen f7 check. Rook uh, takes yeah. knight mate. Uh, nice. You can also play queen here with the idea that if he takes this, I can throw this in at some point. F5, though? Uh, I mean, knight takes has to win. Because it has to. <laughs> and, you know, this win, everything wins. So the question is, do I go here or do I go here? And I could go here still. Still could. King takes, queen check. Looks good. Man, that looks, I mean, like everything looks like it's winning, so it's hard to figure out what to do. Actually, though, but how would you win? So, king takes, queen h5, check, king g7. Queen wait, wait, g6, hold on. How am I winning in what position? What Start over. Knight f7, king okay. takes, yeah. queen h5, right. king g7, uh -huh. queen g6, uh -huh. king f8. Uh -huh. And then what do you do? Yeah, I can't play f4 unless I can. Then, if you take the knight f5, then he does f5. That is funny. Queen h5, he plays bishop takes knight, and I'm already giving up. Queen f3, bishop takes knight, I'm giving up. Wait, queen h5, bishop takes knight? Yeah, just takes this, and I give up. Bishop takes bishop check. So? I have no threats. Like, anything. No, then, knight, then, uh... yeah, and then nothing. Yeah. Yeah, I like I like the knight f7, queen here, and then move the pawn, because that's funny. Like, that's a funny way to get the rook into the game. Yeah, just play f4, f5. That should do it. Open that f-file up and the king's toast. Warm, buttery toast. Family guy. No! I should have listened to you. So it's knight g6 first and then check. Ah, I didn't even look at knight g6. Oh, yeah, oh then knight here so you take the knight. That's funny. All right, I was never getting that. 34, 39 my rating. Terrible. Boo, boo. Hey, he's threatening mate. We better mate him, right? Uh, rook, rook, rook g7, seven, rook h7, queen f5. Uh, that should do it. Uh, no! Oh. Is that queen? Oh, it's... How is it not queen? How is it not queen there? Oh, it's queen here. I didn't see that. I didn't see queen c7. Uh, what, what is in this win? Oh, because king here and I have no checks. I was... I was... I was too... I was too... Yeah, you just check here and check here. Huh. Yeah, I was too... I did it too quickly. I thought it was too easy. All right, losing rating points by the dozen. So d6. Then if he takes, I play d7. 
Um, and the other move is king e3. So it's either king e3 or it's d6. After d6, he could check and play rook takes, and then I play d7 anyway. Seems yeah, to win. d6 looks good. Yeah, but so does king here. I guess after king here, well, I don't know what he would do after that. Rook f1. And then if I play d6, what do you do? That's why, like, when isn't this also when... Oh. Ah, rook d1, d6, he takes the bishop and he has rook d1. The rook f1. Yeah. If I play king here, he goes here. Then if d6, he takes. Then if I play d7, he has rook here. Mm. So king here's no good. Okay, now this is the obvious move. It has to be wrong. It is funny because it just looks like every king move wins. Like after king here, I'm threatening mate. And if you take, I mate. Oh, but rook f3. Then I, oh, then if I take it, then what? You can't take as I go here. Huh. Yeah, it looks like every king move wins. Okay, okay, king c3, rook f4. Oh, 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 he's playing, what's that? Uh, no, I figured out what's, no, that doesn't work either. So king anywhere, rook takes bishop. Uh, oh, no, 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 uh, king, king c3, rook f4. And then if if d seven oh rook d four rook d four rook c four check no no right but oh, oh yeah I didn't that's right but also there's rook d four c five check king c seven no 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 but your your way's easier king, king no 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 takes. right then c five check and then king c seven but your way's better uh, your way doesn't lose a rook yeah so why doesn't this work it just does that just works then right. Oh, after king here, and you take, this doesn't win because of rook d4. I have to take the rook to win. Mm. No, no, but then you play bishop here and stop me. Huh. Ah! Ah! After, here, here's how you win. King here takes, d7 here. King takes c5 check, king e3 attacking the bishop. Mm. And I'm threatening the queen. That's how you mm. win. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was the key. Was the king e three at the end? Yeah, I'm thirty four thirty four. That's good rating. Yeah, these are too difficult. Ooh, this looks like everybody will give me. This looks great. No problem could be easier or more difficult. Jeff was funnier. Let's see. Uh, or I give up. I don't have a white squared bishop. That's what I want. So what you what you what you want? Well, I could play bishop takes. You take it with the king, because you can't take with a queen because you're queen takes pawn. Queen takes pawn. Then you knight. have to play knight d seven. Then I get one of my other rooks involved, rook d1 or rook double on e1. Rook doubling on e1 looks pretty good because rook e7 is like unstoppable. But maybe you don't care. You just move your king and then move your knight to f6. Huh. So rook d1, you have to... Ah! Yeah, it's rook d1, then after queen f7, then rook e1. Because then you're threatening rook e7, pinning everything. So bishop takes, bishop first. Yeah, yeah. Bishop takes, king takes, queen takes, knight here. You attack the knight. The only defense is queen f7, unless I'm wrong. Right? Is there another defense? I don't think so. Well, then you go here. Because <laughs> now this is attacking all of everything. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right. Also, it's cool. Yeah. No! No, I still gain five points. Oh, I just I just double rooks the other way. Ah. Oh, yeah, he just plays rookie eight here. I'm an idiot. He just plays rookie eight. Yeah, it's, the, it's this rook here and then you win. I was so sure I was right. Yeah, just rook here wins. No, that's not right either. Well, now I'm confused. This is wrong and this is wrong? Wow. Also, why is this wrong? Is it rook b? Maybe it's rook here and you just keep attacking the queen. Oh, oh, they want me to go here. And then if queen takes rook e7 check. Hmm. And then take this. Yeah. That's too hard. 
I still gained rating points though. I guess you're but that was that was just too hard. I can't solve those. All right, so there's queen c2, queen f5, queen takes h5. If queen h5, and you take my bishop, I can take the rook first. And then you could also play queen g2, and I have nothing. Although well, bishop e3 check might win. Well, maybe. So it's either queen takes h5, queen f5, or queen c2. What about uh, bishop e3 check? Bishop e3 check, forcing a reckoning. That's interesting. And then if king g2, no, no, queen c2 check? No, no, that's forcing the reckoning. I understand. Yeah. King goes to the h5, you have queen h4 and check. And queen, yeah, yeah. So king g2, queen c2. Oh, yeah, then the, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. yeah, I think you're right. And then here, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then I can just take the rook. Why can't I just take that? I can. Okay. So I have to check and oh, I can't play queen h1 check because it hangs my queen. Uh, so queen d3 and then he resigns because I have this covered. Oh, it's not check queen d3. If queen d3 wins, which it does, why doesn't queen c2 win? Or queen f1 check? Yeah, queen f1 check, queen f7. It seems like everything wins. This incredibly wins. So yeah, you're right. That, that wins easy. Yeah. Yay, we're 34-44. We're the best. Hey, trying to learn. All right, now what color are we, black? Okay, so it's not king f7 because he has this check. Darn. Uh, uh -huh. uh, queen d6. Oh. Queen? Damn. Uh, rook d6. Idea? Rook h6, king g5, f6. You could have played rook h8 check on move one. Uh, yeah. With the same idea. Well, what's your idea? F6, king f5. Yeah, it doesn't work. There's, there's, some, there's some c5 move here threatening rook d5 mate, but I don't know what it is. c5, rook takes c5. How did that help me? I have no idea how that helped me. Still want to do it. I could double up on the bubble up and then you know do stuff to you this way. Like here? Uh, rook g1. Mm. Yeah, I go here. Yeah, I don't like it. You're right. King g5, I don't like it. I'm still thinking rook e6. The idea is rook h6, king g5, uh, f6, king f5, rook takes b pawn, rook takes rook, rook h5 check, you win the other rook. Well, you could do you that the... doing this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, so that's, so after rook takes, there's like rook check. I can't you have time for that. Uh. That just wins a pawn anyway. Yeah. That's not yeah, there's some mate here. It's really matey. Like I want to play rook f4 and then king f6 and then mate. I can't play king here right away because you check me, you know, here or something. But probably that's too slow. Unless it's not too slow. Probably is. Uh, there's a trick somewhere. Tricks are for kids. Aha! I know I'm right now. Yeah. It's rook check. King here. This rook takes. Mm. It's threatening unstoppable mate. I like the unstoppable mate part. Yeah, you don't need the F6. Yeah, I like the unstoppable mate. Yeah. Um, that's 3070, but it was just it's hard to play the other rook because you want to double up on the bubble up. Which threatens nothing. But that would threaten unstoppable mate in one. Yeah. Is that Mango Carson? Close. Close. What? But you guys got to donate. I'm 34.49. All right. So I'm down the exchange. So I'm happy. <clears throat> There's some kind of put something here so you can go here. There's some kind of knight oh, yeah. here. So what bishop happens? Here. I'll just knight check. Uh, he takes it. 
Well, I could take with a rook. Then if I queen, he checks me and takes my queen. Mm. Mm. Yeah. But he's always doing that. He's always, you know, doing something. So there's this knight check, although he doesn't have to take that. I had some trick in mind, but he doesn't have to take it, so the trick doesn't work, I don't think. Um, let's see. Hmm. So knight e2, I think rook e2 is forced. What about uh, bishop bishop e2? Right. Yeah, exactly. Then if, then if well, then rook e2. It's the same thing. Ah, it's, the, it's the same. No, no, it's not the same because the knight's defending this. It's not the same. Bishop here, yeah, yeah, rook, rook here, set. queen here, here, and then takes. I have knight takes. I'm up a knight. Because the knight's defending this. If you go here, the knight's nothing's defending d1. So I I think you're right, bishop here. Although does he have perpetual? Is no, I can I can't escape. Bishop here, he checks me and checks me and checks me and checks me. And I can't go here because Rook here's mate. Thanks for the thousand centages. Thanks, Fine Gold Fan 7, or you know, Damien Rice 7. You're the same guy, probably. No, now wait no, a yeah, minute. Yeah, he can't perpetual, because uh why not? Oh, rook g6. Yeah. Okay, so we're, we're playing here. Rook check here, rook check here, rook check here. Rook g6. And that still that still seems to win. Yeah, because rook here, I, I should win. Yeah. Okay. Agreed. All right, well, that random move I didn't see. So king e5 and king g7 both fail to rook check. So it's here. And then I take. Very good. Right. That was rated third at 3,068. Three in a row. 3,454 is our rating. My phone rang. I don't have a phone. Where was my phone? I don't know where my phone is. I but I heard my phone ring. How did my phone ring if I don't have it? What's happening? What? Wasn't that a phone that just made a noise? Uh, it might have been the computer. What? I thought it was a phone. Also, where's my phone? Also, where's Karen? Go, Karen. Thanks, uh, Twink Tass. Ta quick, yes, thank you. Twink Tass. Testicus. Expert chess. Noticing a great sweater. My wife picked it out. She dresses me mm -hmm. every morning. Yeah. Yeah. Do I believe that? She lays out the clothes for me, literally. Does, does, like if does, I'm wearing like a green shirt and you, what white you're saying pants, is your your mom lays out the panties on the bed. She can't help being it's she's signed from. raised her three kids and she can't help being a mom all the time. I'm confused. How did my phone make a noise? I don't have my phone. Also, why don't I have my phone? It's probably like on the couch or something. I can't believe I don't have my phone. Yeah, there's my well, phone. I, but what are you gonna do? You make phone calls. <laughs> No, While you're streaming? No, it's Karen, like, stop streaming and, you know, you're the worst. All right. Oh, what no, else? it's not. It's somebody else told me I'm the worst. Okay, that's okay, then. What else should Ben do on his streams? He should go over... Your Bengals should go Super over Bowl. openings. <laughs> now, wait a minute. If you bet on the Bengals, Damien Rice 7, and took the points, you won. The, the Bengals were four and a half point dogs. They lost by three. You bet it straight up. You were going for a big score. Ben is saying you should dance on on the stream. I, I've done that, but not on this stream. All right, last one that I can drive you home. She, she, you know what? He should play you guys and analyze while he's playing. It's like you should be able to challenge him. He plays you, and then he analyzes, then he goes over the game completely oh. afterwards. So Does it's do like a speed run. Ben should do a speed run. Do so you guys think it's Queen H two, then any Knight F four. Looks like it. Yay, thanks, Damien Rice. 200 cents to dues. Money line in football is a bold move. Yeah, take the points. So I'm thinking queen h2, and then white makes some move, like taking the bishop, I don't know, the knight f4. Because hmm. I have good memories of that, my game with, uh, with... Although after king e1, I can't take out f2 with me because the bishop's on c5. There's also rook d8. What am I down here? The exchange? There's also knight e5. Knight e5 is terrible. Bishop e4. 
Bishop e4 attacks the bishop on b3, so that's pretty good. And then you go bishop f3? After bishop e4, he plays bishop e6, because if I take, he checks and takes my bishop. Uh, okay, B bishop e4, bishop e6, bishop uh, f3. Yeah, then something. Take the rook, bishop d6, rook d6. Something. Bishop d6 is what worries me. Then my queen can't come oh, bishop, in there. Bishop takes the rook after that, then queen h2. What? what? Takes what rook? What? So if bishop no, I mean, I'm thinking like bishop here at some point pretty early. Uh, uh. So that, you know. So I was thinking bishop here, bishop here, bishop here, bishop here. Just because uh, bishops are pretty good. There's queen b5. He goes here. This yeah, but then, 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 then uh, queen over to h5. Yeah. yeah, then he takes the rook. Oh, no, but queen takes queen action on queen b5. But yeah, you can't. Oh, yeah, that's right. I didn't see that. That's why I'm thinking it's queen h2 now. Queen H two. You know, you know what it probably is. You know what it probably is. Bishop C eight. Then I can take the bishop. Then if you play like Queen A four or Queen E three, I can take on H two, which I sort of like. Bishop C it's cool because you know you wouldn't expect that mm. it attacks the yeah. bishop and the queen. It's probably wrong, but it's cool. Bishop C eight. I still like queen h2, but... Oh, wait, bishop c8, bishop d6? Then queen takes bishop on b3. Um, bishop takes rook. Your queen's hanging. Oh, yeah, bishop yeah. c attacked your queen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like bishop c8 because nobody would think of that. Yeah. That's why I like it. And then after... But after, like, queen... After... After some move... Yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking, like, why is that better than just taking on h2 now? And I, I can't actually, I can't, I don't, I don't think it is. Because queen d3, queen h2, queen g3. Yeah, I don't like it now. I've changed, I've, I've changed my views. Rook d it's another possibility. Because that gets your queen off the bishop. And I can get my rook off of f8 being attacked. But I don't like that either. Maybe like bishop d6 is why I don't like it. There's some reason. Bishop e4 is too obvious. So it's probably good. It's bishop e4, bishop e6, queen h2 then? Yeah. yeah. Bishop takes rook though? The only reason not to play queen h2 is because he plays queen takes b7 though. I mean, otherwise, why am I... No, but bishop e4 on? first. Bishop... Yeah. What if oh. I play queen h2 first? What do you do? Uh, if you play queen b7, I play knight f4. That was my e1. original thought. Yeah, but I figure I'll beat that somehow. Don't ask me how, because I don't know how. Well, yeah, I don't know, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Yeah. All right, so what did we decide? That the right move is one we haven't suggested? So uh, we bishop c8 looks good, too. Yeah, but queen d3, and then if queen h2, queen g3. I'm not yeah, getting. Where, my, I'm where not, are we? We have one, two, three, four, five. And then pawns. I, I want more. I want to attack three the pawns up and an exchange, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Don't like it. I like making weird noises like. Eh, eh. Uh, wait. So bishop e four. You're saying I like bishop e four now. Bishop e four. Bishop e six. Queen h two. Bishop f eight. Threatening. Then, then I could play. That is threatening something. You're right. That's true. Uh, but then, uh, 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 you know what? After uh, then, then, then F E. This should be uh, yeah. well. Then Queen E yeah, six yeah, and Queen E four. Hmm. Oh no! Then Queen H one check. King E two. Wait, how many how many moves are we making here? Okay, so this should be four. Bishop e6, uh -huh. queen h2, bishop f8, bishop f8 queen h1 check, king e2, uh -huh. queen f3 check, uh -huh. uh, king d2. Ooh. There's a lot of places we can go. I can't look that far ahead. There's too many choices. The king can go anywhere. I don't know, but if it's king d2, then bishop g5 mate. It's right? not mate, there's a knight on f4. Oh, there's not. No, no, no. no, no, no. Oh, okay. It's not so mate. Then, so then he has to do... King c3, there's not mate. Oh, is the queen on no, no, f3? Queen f3. So he, king, he only has king e1. Yeah. And, uh... <clears throat> yeah, I should win that eventually. So oh, you... no, then queen h1 mate. 
So, so bishop e4. So you're thinking here? Bishop, well. I like, I like this the best, too. Bishop e4, bishop e6 is the only thing we got. Queen h2, uh, bishop f8, uh, queen h1 check, king e2, queen a, king f3, f3, or king e2, queen f3 check, and then if king d2, you have bishop... Uh, what if king f1, for example? If king f1... Yeah. Uh, yeah or king e1. A king e1... It's um, uh, oh no, king e one is bishop c three check. The rook can't take it on c c one. Uh, queen takes. Yeah, but I'm not convinced. That's why this is too hard. Bishop right. c eight is nice and clean, but it seems after queen d three, it's wrong. But maybe it's not wrong. Maybe then knight f4, nah, the queen just moves. <clears throat> Thanks for the 1,000 centages. I did believe the Bengals would win. When you're right 52% of the time, you're wrong 48% of the time. That What's funny is that joke from The Simpsons is about the Bengals. That's why it's, or maybe it's about Denver. All right, so that we gave up, basically. Um, yeah, queen my heart check, tells king, me queen h2, but my brain tells me whatever I do is wrong. Uh, queen h2. It seems like he runs away, though. I like rook d8, too. Because then I'm not losing all my pieces. I like rook d8. What do you do? If you play queen a4, I trade rooks and play queen h2. Oh, then you have queen e8 check. Damn, I missed queen e8 check. <clears throat> now I don't like it as much. Darn. Now I hate rook d8. It's also bishop c6, which I don't like. No, I don't like it. Bishop c8, queen d3. And then if I attack with the knight, you just move your queen. Yeah, I don't know. I'll leave it up to you, because I have no idea. All right, this is the one we looked at the most, right? Yeah, let's take a look. Oh, All right. no. <laughs> All right, and then this was cool. Darn right. And then this was my first idea. Damn, yes. my first idea was right. I looked at this, and then I thought knight here. But maybe it's not knight there. Maybe it's check and then knight there. And then king here and I resign. Well, it has to be knight here, right? What else could it be? No, it's not. No wonder I couldn't solve it. Well, if it's not knight there, then I, I give up again. Uh, uh, rook b8. No. I don't like rook b8. Could be right, too. Wow, could rook b8 be right? No, it was really, really, okay, this is the move. Oh, I already did that. I forgot. Okay, queen h3 is the next move. Yeah. I don't know why. I just, I play queen h3. I mean, king here, knight check looks good. I agree. Yeah, this is too hard, this puzzle. Now is it your move? Yeah. Yeah, and then you're winning the bishop. Uh. That was only 32.86. This seemed harder. Yeah, it says 17% pass it. And look, no, no mate. It's just yeah. You know, there, we have to that. do another one because that was embarrassing. I don't even know what color I am. Okay, so I'm black and I'm going this way. All, All right. right. Wow. Yeah, I had to figure that out. That wasn't easy. Um, I give up. <laughs> it's too hard. I was on rope B eight. Yeah. And then and if you ever take king here. And then here. Oh, there's no check at all. Oh, yeah, there is. I mean, any movie goes here and then here. That's why I don't like any move. That's a good plan. How could this win if you can always do that? That's weird. Thanks, uh, Reichenbach Falls.
Aha! <clears throat> when he plays king here, if I take the knight and he queens, I can play rook here. And there's no checks. It's, uh, queen, queen. Oh, there's this check. Darn, queen there's one. a check. Well, then I can't win if there's any checks at all. Darn. Aha! Aha! Rook, rook here. It is, yeah, it, it, yeah. Rook here, king here. Rook takes queen. Rook here. Yeah, yeah. Then there's right. then there's no checks, and I'm going to queen. Then I discover check if he keeps checking me. So after here, what if he moves his knight? Oh, then I can attack his knight. That's good. Hooray! That was three thousand rated. Yeah, that was good. That was fun. Not for my opponent. Yeah. How many of these are? are these coming from real games? Or are these uh, composed? No, no, no. Nobody knows. Only they know in the chat, and they're not telling. All right, so we went to from thirty three ninety nine to thirty four forty seven. Once you get this high, it gets tough. So the puzzle run, puzzle rating run. Mm hmm. That's my highest puzzle rating. It was. I think it was higher in a previous account ten years ago, on my secret illegal account. Now, do you ever secretly illegally play on chess.com under a pseudonym? No. No? No. I you don't play chess online very much? I play on Lee Chess. Oh, mostly. Lee Chess. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we were supposed to look at your games. Oh, uh, we could do it next time. Next time we'll do it, yeah. Chess is hard and chat is dumb. Mainly, mostly that's correct. We could raid Naraditsky and then and Karen will go all a flutter. Let's see. Go Lee Chess. More James would be good. Yeah, I agree. He's got other stuff he's doing. Tell them that thing I'm, you're doing now. Your, your, your 10 ideas, you're making a website, or is that a secret? Yeah, yeah, it's a secret until I, okay. until I launch it. Right. But I'm studying chess three or four hours a day. Will it be, and look, will how, it, look how great it's making me. I've caused Ben to lose will, every hand will, in brain game. Will, will, it, will it be uh, the website up in the next month or two, or you have no yeah, plans? Yeah. Okay. yeah, I have a website launching okay. to keep track of all your ideas within the next couple of weeks. Yeah, nine ninety nine. Yeah, you talk about it next time. James has more chess books than God. That's no, true. I have, I have books. As long as you have one, that's good enough. Oh, that's my wife. James is tired. He wakes up at five every morning. Yeah, is she right? Uh, now, she is right. Now, according to him, Robin, you dress him in the morning. That's why she, he looks good. She lays out these clothes, right? Yeah. Robin, tell him. Wow. Now, you are pretty snazzy. Um, um, yeah. Thanks to she trims my beard. He, he tells me you're a fine poker player because of his great teaching. Yeah, we're all going to play poker. Robin knows that. Yeah. She's not responding. Did you know, did this. you know she had an account here? I did not know she had and an she, account And she's Twitch. watching you? Man. Yeah, Spencer, you come over. Oh, well, yeah, he up. plays poker, too. Yeah. yeah. Play poker, and then after we both get knocked out, we'll play blitz chess. Nice. Spencer doesn't plan on getting knocked out. <laughs> but he will plan on playing blitz chess. Oh, yeah, what's the story with Anisha's... What, okay, what, what I, was the Twitter I can't. I don't keep track of the, the, chess The drama. Holocaust joke I couldn't tell you. I can't tell you what he what he messaged me, but I'll show you. But it wasn't him, maybe. You know, it was, you know... Wait, so what did he do? He just, like, messaged... Like, well, supposedly people? his account was hacked, mm -hmm. and then everybody got... And then all kinds of crap happened. Mm -hmm. So he's never, ever, ever messaged me. So I'm thinking this is his account's hacked. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is what he sent me. Don't read it out loud, because I don't... <laughs> it's pretty that funny, is actually. That's horrible. Right, yeah. That is yeah, horrible. Yeah, what, what Anish messaged me, the fake Anish, that I can't read it on. Yeah. yeah. I wonder how his account got hacked. Exactly. Do you listen to who? Sufji, I don't know who that is. Maybe you do. Thanks, Yuka Oop. You're the oopest. Yeah, I got, they sent lots of nasty direct messages and some funny tweets also. He's never messaged me, so that was the first message I got from his fake, you know, hacker. Terrible. To everyone in chess, yay. Did yeah, you, I uh, assume he was hacked. Did you watch his uh, commentary during the Magnus match? I did not. Was it great? It was, was it him and Judith? It was, I really like Judith's commentary, because yeah. Judith... She's looking at such insane moves. You could tell mm -hmm. that she's like a born attacker. Uh, you know, Anisha's calculating everything, but she's just saying, but what about... And then it's this like weird move that could turn into like this amazing attack. Yeah. No, you're right, though. He probably was hacked because he doesn't have NordVPN. The VPN <laughs> for you. Yeah, they re-upped three more months. Go NordVPN. 
Yeah. All right, we're gonna. What's the, what's the Peter Nielsen stuff? Um, he the, there's some stuff going on where, you know, Geary and Carlson they got this thing going, and Peter's the chief coach of Magnus, so there's mm-hmm. always some back and forth, like friendly, but maybe it's not friendly. <laughs> maybe there's some back and forth there. Well, what what is? And there's like say? accusations like. This guy worked with me, and he stole my prep, and you know, yeah. I didn't steal your prep, and then it's not your prep. You know, whatever. That's, that happens a lot, by the way. I, I actually was working with a kid at the World Youth, mm-hmm. and he showed me this Carol Kahn prep, mm-hmm. and it's never happened. What variation? Uh, it's where White Castle's Queenside and Black – it's the Bishop F, you know, Bishop F5, Knight G3, Bishop G6. Okay. The main line. And there's some pawn sack that's never been played before. And he showed, we looked at it and we're like, okay. And then I actually sent him some more analysis than he had. I said, here's some more analysis. But it never happens. Nobody plays either side of the line. So then I was playing Tatev Abrahamian in St. Louis in some norm tournament, like six months after the World Youth. Mm-hmm. And I said, well, she plays white in a Carol Khan, she plays this, maybe it'll happen. Should I even play that? Mm-hmm. And he was playing in the tournament. Like, mm-hmm. you know, he didn't say anything to me. And I did play it. And she sat there forever, like confused. So I won. She was losing on the board on the clock. Hmm. So I mean, I used this prep to win, but it was prep that's like never used. Like it could have been ten years before he used that prep. Well, so, did did yeah. he did he know eventually? Did he see you playing it? Yeah, he just didn't care. Huh. Yeah. So yeah, it's cool that you're friends with Malcolm Gladwell. You've never met him, right? No, you're friends with Malcolm Gladwell. Oh, I oh then I am friend. That was the, yeah. That that's is cool right. that he's friends with Malcolm Gladwell. Yeah, that is good. Yeah. Yeah, because in that book that you like, The Outliers, my first wife's husband is talked about in that book. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, okay. that's Christopher Langdon. Ah, yeah. well, what, what, uh, what, how was he mentioned? I don't remember. He's the highest IQ in the world, oh, okay. and they talked about him briefly. Huh. Yeah, very suspicious. Ah, Chessel, Wordle for Chessel, because I never saw that. I heard about that from the Gawking Rabble. The gl- yeah, yeah, trying to learn. It's funny, the Gawking Rabble... What's the Gawking Rabble? That's them. Oh. Yeah. It's probably a Simpsons line. Probably. I didn't make it up. Hmm. I used to call backpackers in Europe riffraff. I'd be getting on a train, there's like 20 guys with these huge backpacks, and like riffraff. Man, their backpacks are always hitting you. Happens, it happens on the airplane, too. People take their stuff off. Yeah. They got seven suitcases with them. They're always hitting me with them when they put them up. You gotta start, and, and, and Karen. You, 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 First of all, you, got, you don't bring luggage with you on the plane. I don't. No, I don't. they do. They got like seven yeah. pieces of luggage, and they're hitting me with all seven before they put it up. Yeah. You got to start flying private to chess tournaments. Uh, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'll borrow your plane. Yeah. You're supposed to say which one. That's. <laughs> well, mine I used to drive because I don't have a lot of driver's license. That's right. You can fly the dirigible like Barney did. Um, let's see. I guess Naroditsky, right? Nero Ditsky. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks to my guest, James Altucher. Maybe he won't. Maybe he will. Charlotte Chess uh, Tournament. I don't know about it. I'll look mm-hmm. into it. When is it? Yeah, that's uh, adults only. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It's 21. Really? Over. Yeah, adults 21. All right, good. But Karen in. and I are playing. Karen and I are playing. When is it? I'm, I'm it's in. like in a month and a half. I don't know, two months. Yeah. We'll give you the information about it. All right. Yeah. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks to my guest. Thanks to Robin for putting up with him, et thanks, cetera, everybody. mainly et cetera. Parting words? Well, it's such sweet sorrow. He has a personal driver. She is my personal driver. Mm-hmm. But Ben's going to give me a ride home. Yeah. He, he, she's an excellent driver. Yeah. She is. I've lived this far. All right, I'll get him home safe, Robin.